Man, oh man. Don't you just love it? When you wake up from a pizza coma, from eating at CC's a little too much? I know I do. That's a lie. That's a big fat lie. I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. It's a big fat lie because when you eat at CeCe's Pizza and you eat as much as I do, um, you wake up the next day and you're really hungry. Like if you've ever eaten something that's just dense in carbohydrates, then you'll know exactly what I mean. It's not the healthiest thing, and if you're trying to lose weight, you really should not be going to places like CeCe's Pizza and eating a lot of pizza. Because you'll overeat and you'll consume probably 2,000 to 3,000 calories. Or more. And it's just not healthy, really, but everybody, even the healthiest person, will drink little bit of beer or maybe a healthy person may decide to smoke a cigarette or two as long as you don't overdo it although really you shouldn't smoke cigarettes that's actually it doesn't matter that will kill you regardless I can't remember if it's the tobacco itself or I think it's like a lot of the chemicals that are in cigarettes that'll do it I don't smoke fortunately so I don't have to worry about that but I'm pretty sure I'll gain like two or five pounds, which is not good because I'm hovering toward a milestone I don't want to hit. <laughs> so it's probably not for the best to be doing something like that. You know, something I really find interesting is uh, there's a game on the Nintendo 64 called Glover 64, and it was a band like uh, I forget the company that was behind it, but they like lost uh, they lost the IP rights because they didn't renew it, and uh, some other company bought it up, and then they claimed that they were going to be bringing Glover to modern consoles, and they also claimed that they were going to I guess pick up the Glover Two project that was incomplete, and uh, there is a, a ROM out there of Glover Two. There was supposed to be a sequel to Glover. And uh, I don't know how far that ROM goes. I've never played it all the way through. And because it's like a, an unfinished beta build, some things are janky. Some things don't work right. Um, it was pretty ambitious, though. It's kind of like the Banjo-Tooie to uh, Glover. But it looked like it was a more... Instead of it being level-based, where you go from a hub world to levels, it was more like um, one interconnected world with different zones linked together. So you'd go to a zone and do some things, and then you'd get thingies or something. But, like, the game opens up with uh, your brother Glove, who was cross-stitch in that game, turning around and, like, tricking you into getting um, ingredients to make a concoction to turn him back into cross-stitch. This happens while the wizard is uh, on a fishing trip somewhere. And the game opens up with like you looking at a postcard of the wizard going like, wish you were here, and he's just like fishing at some place. But after cross-stitch happens, you gotta go stop him, and you go explore the world and collect thingies. And I don't know if that was how the game was actually going to be. I mean, like I said, the, uh, the ROM was incomplete. It was an incomplete build of the game. So it may have just been a beta. It may have been like one of these situations where um, they were still working out how the game was going to be. But unfortunately, when Glover 64 was being published by Hasbro, I think it was Hasbro, uh, <clears throat> the person that was in charge of ordering the cartridges um, was duped into ordering way too many cartridges than was necessary. Because Nintendo basically gave 
a discount if you turned around and you uh, bought the cartridges in bulk. Like the bigger the bulk order, the cheaper per cartridge it would be. And that ran, that led into a problem. Like Glover is not a triple A game. It would be like a double A game. It'd be a game that's like a budget title. So the game wasn't exactly flying off store shelves. I mean, it wasn't bad either. People were buying it. It's just it was they weren't buying it like it's Mario 64. So uh, this idiot turned around and ordered all these cartridges to be made for the Glover game. And their warehouse is like slam full of games. They could not get rid of them. Stores didn't want them because people weren't buying them that much. Demand wasn't that high. And that that led into a pretty big problem. And it basically bankrupt the game studio while they were making Glover 2. Like, they were in the middle of making Glover 2 and they were told, Alright, everyone stop. Everyone's fired. We ran out of money. Because this dipshit ordered way too many Nintendo 64 cartridges. What's really sad is Glover was also had a PC port and a PlayStation 1 port. The PC version is based off the PlayStation 1 version. But this other company that came up and bought the rights to Glover, the intellectual property, turned around and uh, claimed that they were going to be releasing Glover 64, the Nintendo 64 version, onto modern platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, and I do not know what has come of that. Clever 64 coming to modern, modern platforms. Okay, publisher Qbyte Interactive has announced that the game will be seeing a release on modern platforms, including Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S. Not to PC. It was Qbyte. Qbyte Interactive. Okay, who the fuck is Qbyte Interactive? And they're probably defunct. They're still there. Their website's still up. Match Village, Top Racer, Mustache Hell. Demfito, Rack... I've, like, I've never seen any of these. Coming soon. Road Defense, Willy's Wonderland, Lunar Axe, and Mars 2120. Uh, where's Glover? What happened to you guys buying Glover? I don't have a search on their things. So I can't see if they're bringing Glover back or not. When was the, the date on that? It was a few years ago. It was 2022. It was two years ago. I didn't mean to ignore you, Debo. I saw you. I was just in the middle of my, my thought. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Although I'm kind of sad because tomorrow i got to go back to work, which... That kind of sucks. Oh, it's... QU Byte Interactive has officially revealed that the Cult Classic platformer Glover will soon be receiving a re-release on modern consoles. Soon. This is, like, 2022. Where the fuck is it? Teaming up with Q Pico is teaming up with Qbyte Interactive to bring the platformer's PC port to multiple consoles. Oh, they're not doing Glover 64. They're doing the PC version. Oh, no. That one's not a good version, dude. The N64 version is... There's a fucking video. Is it still posted? That was extremely loud. Oh, it's Brazilian. It's a Brazilian company. Cult Classic Platformer is back. No, it's not. That's a lie. Where the fuck is it? Join the duo of Glover and Ball. Yeah, Ball. 30 levels across six unique worlds. Yeah, I know. I've played it. And no release date at all. And it looks like they're just using footage of the PlayStation version.
Please give us a release date soon. It was seven months ago. I second that. Is this gone? Is this not there? That is interesting. So, like, these people are just, like, sitting on this, in this fucking IP and they're not doing anything with it, which sucks. Where the hell is Glover, dude? Like, just take the Nintendo 64 mom and wrap it into a Nintendo 64 emulator and release it. That'll work. That's that's what people are waiting for. And then sell it for 60 bucks. People will buy it. I'm actually looking through their blog. Let's see if it's mentioned. There's not it's not even a footnote on their blog. It's like it doesn't exist. Glover, Cubite Classics. It's mentioned on Cubite Connect. October 27, 2022. Cubite Classics is a compilation of classic games that will be available for modern platforms. All games were awarded through a partnership with game publisher and developer focus on releasing video games and cartridge format for retro consoles. Pico Interactive. To bring modern classics... To to bring the catalog to modern classics in PC. So is Cubite the people that own the rights, or is it Pico Interactive that owns the rights? And is it Cubite the one that's publishing it? But it says Glover. Then there's Beat 'em Up Archives, Iron Commando, and Legends, Stone Protectors, Legend of Wukong, Brave Battle Saga, The Legend of the Magic Warrior. I've never heard of any of these. Alright, is fucking Pico Interactive doing anything? There's a store. Whoopee. Oh, Pico Interactive is like some sort of like... Retro gaming shop. They're just like, it's a second hand place. Well, that's just a little bit annoying to be honest. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that Glover would have seen its way onto N64. And unfortunately, the person that maintains the Cave Database Editor uh, is uh, like not releasing the current build of it that he's working on because he's gotten caught up on something, which is a little bit annoying too. I would have loved to just inject the ROM and see if it works, but oh well. There's all this sad piano music going on. <laughs> it's because I'm sitting on the title screen of Princess Peach Showtime. Princess Peach Showtime! But hey, how's it going? It's going great. For those of you on YouTube land, you're going to see this video before the first episode of this. Because I haven't uploaded it because I'm lazy! So let's see if I can remember which ones I did. I think it's where the threads are. So we did... The sword, we did the secret agent. Now we've got ice skater and investigator. The case of the missing moral. Let's go. Let's go. Like I answer like I answered uh, Devo, it's going alright. Kinda of bummed out that I have to go to work tomorrow though. Peach time indeed. Aww. Everyone here looks scared. Mm. But why? The detective here always solves mysteries and keeps people feeling safe. <laughs> Haven't been feeling safe here lately. What would I do if I was attacked? <laughs> Believe me be. <laughs> Fork over everything you got. Go stay out of this. No, you get yeeted.
Thank you, you're really brave. Secret? I lost my ticket. There's the ticket. Now he can go to the museum and he does a little dance. He dances the little dance. The little dancey dance. Guys in a pinch too, huh? Okay, they didn't really do a good job hiding that one. <clears throat> Ancient moral sounds intriguing. Intriguing indeed. Oh, something happened. The museum is closed today. This is urgent. There's been a threat. I'll be taking point on looking into it. A junior detective like you can't handle this. You better just head home, kid. I guess it's no use. I can't do this on my own. No, I won't give up yet. I need a new plan. Laura's here. Hello, Laura. Will you come with me? We're gonna come with him. Quick, in here. In here. Emerald Guardian Girl says, Hi, hello, Emerald Guardian Girl. I'm playing Princess Peach Showtime. It's a new Peach game that came out. Alright, this guy really wants to help the detectives. Can't even solve the mystery of this office. Ah, uh, well, that's really simple. You see, it's... It's Star. Then it's Lightning Bolt. Then it's Cloud. Then it's sun. And it opens the entrance to the bat cave, apparently. More of a Sonic girl than a Mario girl. I'll respect that. What's your favorite Sonic character? Huh? It's, uh, Peach Melia Watson. She's on the case. Espio. Espio is actually a pretty good one. I like him. Now we're gonna be a private eye investigator. I like how, how a lot of the gimmicks in the game uh, really do implement the idea that this is a stage play. Like when I'm holding down the button to investigate, there's like a stage light, a spotlight that kind of shines around. And there's like rotating stages and stuff. Wait, where'd the junior detective go? We gotta find him. These are pictures of the city's esteemed detective and junior detective. You'll lose hearts if you guess wrong with your strike of intuition. Since we're practicing this office, you won't lose any hearts if you guess wrong here. No. There's some comfy cushions. So we gotta use our noodle this time. 
Wait, when did I get an extra heart? I only had four. I have five now? Amazing, nothing gets past you, detective. You really can detect things with your strike of intuition. Now come on, a mystery awaits us. Let's go. Some old guardian girl says, Me and my dad have these little debates sometimes. Because I'm all about Sonic and he's all about Mario. Ha! That's a little little healthy father-daughter stuff. There's a note on the floor, let's see here. If you're a true detective, you'll find me. Oh, we already did. God, I love how this game has a problem maintaining 30 frames per second. It's so great. Isn't that great? This game's $60, too. So this is another ability that's not going to be combat-related. I like how not every stage is combat related. Hmm. <gasps> Big wooden crate, wonder what's inside. Oh, it's Detective, please go on inside. Inside we go. Detective, you came. Haha, <laughs> you came. And just in time, the curator is waiting in the room next door. What could be going on? I also won't let anyone leave, I wonder what's going on. First Sonic game that my mom got me was... One that I've heard is very hard. I wonder which one that is. They locked up the museum and now I can't go home. Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed isn't hard. You want a hard Sonic game? Go play Sonic 2 for Sega Game Gear. That's a hard Sonic game. Detective! Oh, thank goodness you're here. You see, a threatening note has been placed on the Thipota Moral. It reads, we're coming for the Thipota Moral. Consider yourselves warned. If something were to happen to our moral... What's this, a power edge? No, someone's flicking a light. Oh no, it's these guys. Oh no! The moral, it's gone! Please, you gotta track down the culprits. Alright. Now we gotta. Something written to roll the moral is hanging before. It says, We've taken the fear for a moral. Okay, it's a sour gang, so okay, whoopee. You know that already? I'm gonna pick your favorite Sonic game, would be Sonic Heroes. Mine's Sonic Adventure 2. It's a locked window. Okay, well, nothing there. Apparently, the characters on this hanging scroll can be understood by Ninja. The shellfish also that's discovered nearby, the area was submerged in water long ago. Hmm. Why is this sideways? Uh -huh. Stone slate carved in the ancient text, what's this? Seems you can move it. Sonic Adventure 2 is a favorite by so many people. My first 3D Sonic game was Sonic Adventure 2 on GameCube. The, the battle version. Aha! Right, in we go. An air duck, maybe the culprits use it. How did they sw how did they squeeze the mural the mural through that air duct? Unless it's a tapestry that could be folded up. That doesn't make any damn sense. What? 
Oh. Aww. The display case is broken. Ah. That one's a display here from the fangle is the the fang fan fandangled mask masks of disguise. Wearing one of these masks allows us wear to alter their appearance. Oh. Spades key. Maybe we can find a use for it. A treasure chest. Let's open it. Money. I'm certain these fiends are here somewhere. I wonder if it's a sparkly thing or not. Alright, well, I see a key already. Diamond's key. Ah. Huh. It's a nose of troop. Anyone who smells of deceit will meet a terrible end. Interesting. When the lights went out, someone stole my popcorn. The nerve. I haven't seen anyone suspicious. Strange. No one has come or gone through here. What? Is this an odd one out kind of thing? Why is there a new statue there were only two before? Huh. There's a lot going on here. Okay, what about the popcorn guy? One of my precious cameras I sell here is missing. It was right here before the power went out. CD2, popcorn in hand, guard with camera in hand. There's two guys holding glasses. The real statue. You see that statue with the sunglasses? That one's the real deal. Wait, there's only supposed to be... There's... <laughs> there were only two statues before. Carving of a hero holding a round shield. The hero fought with nothing but the shield. It's popcorn. I wonder if someone dropped it. Statue of two great playwrights. They want to play together over a single bag of popcorn. out of the ordinary. Guy was snoozing on the job. Eek. Some strange sounds coming from the room. It could be a ghost. Wood covering of a bird in the past was often used in festive celebrations. Before it got dark, there was an officer in here. Where did they go? Feaster Island statue. When I see it, I feel like it knows things no one else understands. Ah. Mm. Model of a burial site for an important person is said to be power in the pyramid shape. They have given me out there. I may not look like it, but I'm actually an officer. Someone attacked me, stole my uniform, and locked me in there. It was all black after that. 
so there's an imposter somewhere. Well, this one probably just has the... has a crystal. So there's an imposter officer. It's also a missing camera. The sunglasses is the real deal. Watch the play together over a single bag of popcorn. I was one bag of popcorn too many. Excellent work, detective. One more thief remaining, but I'm sure you'll be able to catch them. Of course. You do the guard with the camera in hand, but what clues lead me to that? Is this footprint's leading from this guy. It's clear there was a struggle. Wonder if it's this guy. This guy seems a little sus to me. Why is he snoozing on the job? I'm not one of the culprits. Hey, Chifu. What's up, dude? I'm playing Princess Peach Showtime. We're doing investigators. Lazy one here. I see. I don't want to just do guesswork. The person who stole my popcorn disguised himself must have been hungry or something. One of the cameras here I sell here is missing. It was right here before the power went out. How am I supposed to link it to... 
the officer holding the camera. How was I supposed to link those together? Mm -hmm. Other than the one guy that says that someone stole his outfit. Mm. Of course. I'm a little curious how you came to that conclusion, though. Okay, so he said someone stole his outfit. And we can see the, uh... The footprints are going to it. And he was missing a camera. Now we're back here. Tell the truth. Tell us what the mural is. We don't know nothing. Because if we tell you where we hit it, somewhere in the museum. It's still inside the museum. I mean, I don't know nothing. Still don't know where the mural is. Please find the mural. Side doors open. Now we gotta find a stepping stool. There's our stepping stool. Try opening the locked window. Something's phony. There's the mural! The mural is here all along, it was never stolen. Oh yeah, you have my eternal gratitude for everything you've done for my museum. Oh no, I'm sure the plan was foolproof. We did it! Watching you unravel this mystery was truly inspiring. You are a new great detective. And now the case is really closed. I see. Got all the thingies. Mm -hmm. I can see how the camera, the one guard holding the camera is a thing. Thank you so much. That's where it's starting to run into some problems, though. I was trying to bridge those two together. The only clues I had was a guard had his stuff stolen. His uniform stolen. That's the only thing that threw me off. I guess that leaves us with the ice skate. Snowflower on ice. Showtime. 
Join the Discord voice chat. I guess you're in it already? Okay. Now I have to fix some settings real quick. Get a message. Peach time. Hello there. The ice show is going to start soon. Pause real quick because I gotta change the setting real, real fast. If we're gonna have VC up. And why is that not going through? The wrong thing. It's going through speakers. It shouldn't be going through speakers. We're gonna have feedback. How do I change that? Hello. All right. See, now the problem is I cannot hear you through the headphones. I don't know why it's defaulted to using the speaker. How do I change that in Discord? Because I'm not able to hear you at all because of the way this is set up. It's not edit channel. It's not create invite. It's not open chat. Oh man, where would they stick that at? Voice and video. And server camera. Choose a sound, that's nitro. Input device, output device. Output device, headphones. Now I should be able to hear people, hopefully. Is that better? Mm. Now I can hear people. How the hell did that setting get changed? That's rather annoying. Anyway, Azu, I told you it was that guy. How did you come to that conclusion? That's my question. Guard with the guard with clothes, holding camera fits both of them. Okay. But how'd you finger that the guy was holding the camera? How is it not the other guy that had the camera in front of the statues? Because it could have been he him, didn't too. have guard clothing, idiot. So we were looking for someone that stole clothes and someone that stole a camera, and that's how we pieced the two together. Yes, he stole the guard's clothes, and that dude was wearing guard clothes and having a camera. That's him. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'm not really good with detective games. I should play more of them more often. Like Hotel Dusk. Hotel Dusk is a real good one. I would have known that immediately if I were playing that. Oh, hey, Chifu. Hey, Hello. Chifu. Hello. Hello. You, it was a good idea, though, to pick on the lazy guy because I agree with lazy, but he didn't really have a camera. What are you he seemed doing? a little... I'm doing all right. The, can't, the lazy guard did seem suspicious, though, because he was, like, snoozing on the job, and he said, nothing to self-report. I'm like, you're sleeping on the job. Something seems a little yeah, off here. Yeah, but, but no, he didn't have a camera. That probably not a tip. I guess that makes sense. I just figured something else out. You can't go into the sub-areas without having the uh, ensemble, but you can, you can suss out where there are when Peach is just doing this little dance. Mm. She only does that dance over the areas where those are. The venue is this oh. one. Oh, like she doesn't dance only if there's like a sub area nearby? Yeah. Now you can't get there, no sure for you. What a jerk. Get sparkled. How are we supposed to get to the venue? There's just one more grace to our spins. Please come to the show. 
Sometimes you can go back to previous other areas, other times it closes you off. And then Shifu left. He says hello and he leaves. What in the hell? I do not know. I don't know if he just gets bored or something. I don't know what happens. Either he gets bored fast or just doesn't know what to do. Yeah. They don't have enough dancers. Where are the other dancers? Where are they? I don't know where are they. Convenient eek. What's all this? I guess they're just snow people. Probably can't hurt them when they're spinning. <laughs> Alright, they've been freed. Thanks for giving my skins a boost. Okay, well, that's only the third spark. I missed the first one. Now they'll probably open the way to get the ensemble. Yep. Kind of figured that's what that is. I don't think you need to point that out. It's intended to think girls are really that stupid. They're like... Oh no. They won't know where to go. I mean, the last Peach game they made, uh, it was just Peach battling with her emotions. But it was at least, like, it made sense, in a way. Yeah. You use the anger one to burn things, you use the joy one to kind of fly. Uh, not the joy one, it's the happy one to fly. The joy one's the only one that's not really needed, it's just to restore your health. To make the game even more mm. easy than it already is. Hmm. <laughs> It is weird that you have to collect all the toads. I know. Oh yeah, like I think I remember the the thing that gave that power. It was the vibe scepter, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the vibe scepter. And Why the would they the call game, it the vibe like, scepter? At the end of the game, it said, "Yeah, the vibe scepter might be in your house right now. Check in your mother's like drawer." <laughs> I I don't believe that for one second. Not one second at all. That's bullshit. Google it! There is no way. Google, Google the, uh, I don't remember the name, but the Princess Peach ending screen. There is no way. There is no fucking way it said that. I, I found a video, I'm watching that shit right the fuck now. There is no way in hell that it said that. It did. I just remember seeing Luigi getting yeeted. Batman. Not being, yeah, like, funny. funny. It's the ending, right? Not the final boss fight that says that? Yeah, the ending. Is it in the credits? Yeah. Like near the beginning or the end of the credits? I think it's like the direct end of the credits. Bowser gets yeeted. Luigi gets yeeted. <laughs> then they walk into the sunset back toward Peach's castle. And there's a vibe scepter floating in the sky. Okay. <gasps> 
Maybe just maybe the vibe scepter is hidden away in your house somewhere. Okay. That's it. That's just just where it's hidden away in the house somewhere. Didn't say anything about your mom's room. Just says like your dad got mad at you the, the other day. Your mom seems has been laughing happily a lot. Okay, that's that's all it is. I thought it straight up said the vibe sector's in your mom's room. No, well, it implies it though. It oh definitely my implies it. Fucking good. It's like your mother has the vibe sector is making dad mad. <laughs> it implies that uh certain things occur. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just chowing down a big bag of um, mini tips ahoy. The chewy oh kind. Boy. Spin exhibition. Spin! The jump and the spin. Chewy the chewy kind of chips are so good. Oh man, the chewy is so good. They have Reese's Chips Ahoy. I don't think they still fix this issue. The bag of Reese's Chips Ahoy still looks too similar to the chewy ones. There's a story of uh, a girl that's like definitely allergic to peanut butter. Her mom, I don't know Ooh. why is her mom, you have a daughter that's definitely allergic to peanut butter. Maybe don't keep anything that has peanut butter in the house. That that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that'd be a that'd be a smart thing to do. The mother was dumb, yeah. left the chips of white peanut butter cookies out, and because the bag kind of looks similar to the chewy ones, the daughter grabbed a couple and it just ate them. Then she wound up in the hospital, and then she fucking died. She ended up dying. Yes, because she was definitely crazy. she was definitely allergic to it. Jesus, that's a weird way to go out. That's a terrible way to go out. Just because of a careless mistake. That makes me think it's bullshit. Like, the whole story is probably just BS. Because you think there would have been a lawsuit over it. And they would have changed the, uh... The packaging. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hit the little marks within the time limit. I've actually watched ice skating stuff off and on when my mom watches it. I don't, I just don't get it. It's like, oh, they do a bunch of flips and stuff. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's difficult, but I just, it doesn't impress me too much. I'm so sad. I'm so lost to set. My favorite Yoshi player lost his set. Oh, that sucks. Thankfully, it was a double, so it didn't really matter. He got second place though with this teammate. That's that's still so good. Yeah. So alert. I saw you playing the new Hollow Life game. What do you think? Yeah. Eh. The game's not letting me go back to the area where Peach was dancing, damn it. I'm iffy on it. I've yet to play it. It's good. I I'm not the best at that type of combat system. It's also it's played... just weird using my keyboard like that. Yeah, it's probably best played with a uh, controller. Yeah, but it's not controller. It doesn't have controller support right now. Well, that's annoying. Steam is able to remap uh, controls to keyboard inputs. Yeah, Steam input, yeah.
<laughs> so uh, I asked you, you would steal uh, Ririka's booty in that image? I, oh, I would. God. I would steal that booty. <laughs> what a thing to say on the stream. I'd steal that booty. Okay, buddy. Calm down. Sweetie, sweetie. Mm. Yeah, on. that 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 image just brings out the best in Ririka since she's she's so good in that image. Are you objectifying women again? I'm gonna get fucking cancelled. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Asher's like, I'm gonna need to take a 15 minute break off stream for a second and give me a bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's just gonna be really suspicious if I, I say that. <laughs> 15 minutes? Wow, that's some stamina right there. You say that and you have to mute your mic. It would be over. It would be the DSP moment. Yep. And then the viewer count just drops. Everyone nopes out. No, the viewer count goes <laughs> up. I think you're. I think you're getting this wrong, buddy. Yeah. No, I mean I'm looking at the CCB. It just dropped. Everyone just noped right out. <laughs> Serious. So many children. Left. It was. Everyone it was three, left. and now it's one. Good guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry. Do it harder. Yeah. What? If you do it harder, then what will happen is it'll become so negative that it'll, it'll like underflow and it'll be like 11 million people. Oh, geez. That's how it works, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. I love it when my mother comes home and she just sits in her fucking goddamn car, and the dog just barks nonstop. It's great. I love it. Of course. Like, could you could you not do that, please? No, it's necessary. Come on. You know this. Oh no, I made him mad. Spin. Oh dang, you actually just posted the uh, the stuff that you said that the vibe sector could be in their room. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I pulled up the receipts. Dude, pulled up the receipts. It's in the VC fucking chat. Yeah, that's what I just saw. Maybe Vibe Center is hidden away hey. in your house somewhere. Yeah, it's like, why would you say that? <laughs> Come on. The game's rated E for everyone. Like, they knew it wouldn't get too many sales, so they were like, eh, fuck it. The fact it was called the Vibe Scepter alone could have been like, okay, Vibe, Vibrate, come on now. Yeah, I watched Alpharad's video on it, and he's like, oh, no way they made a Vibrator joke. Then he got to the end, and he's like, oh my fucking god, they did. And the best part is the little girls wouldn't understand it at all. No. Imagine if, like, a little girl actually then decided to go look through the house and then found, like, a fucking fire. Oh, good God. That probably has happened statistically. Oh. Kids are fucking oh, stupid. That seems like a fun thing. Try to get all achievements still. It's fucking annoying as hell. I have 60 out of 82. Mm. I always seem to have more than enough sparkle gems, so hopefully that's not going to become a problem in the future. I need like, oh, you need to get them all. Because then I'd probably just be like, alright, I guess we're done playing the game. I guess we're not doing this anymore. Yeah. I don't want to play this game anymore. I've already completed it. This is bullshit. I've already completed it, said the one person that responded to Nintendo who was insinuating they downloaded the leaked version. <laughs> why would you do... Why do people do that? That's like... Going out, it's like stealing from Target and then going and standing outside the building. And go, by the way, I just stole that PS5. What the fuck is wrong That'd be with that? Pretty you? funny though. That's pretty Chad. It's <laughs> stupid because the Nintendo goes around, strikes down a fucking emulator. That has nothing to do with it. That does suck. That sucks. That does suck. And then they get more mad, and then they strike down. Um, they just strike down fucking Relic Castle too. On top of things. Buttholes. 
Does anyone want to join my Animal Crossing Island? Uh, no. No, John Briggs. No. I, I don't want to join Animal Crossing Island. I want to play- I want to play the Peach game instead. For, Did this made for little girls. Did you that in, in the- in the oh, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. And we just lost him. Oh, well. <laughs> they actually shame, just- really. They actually just left? They- they- Literally came in to say, hey, I want to join my Animal Crossing I'm like, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he was... was not paying attention. So we gotta pin that shit. And the the damn the annoying part is that little icon with like the hearts and stuff is over the thing, so I can't even pin it, which yeah, is it's annoying. Stupid. You have to like hover over my icon or something, or just like right click <clears throat> on it. So stupid. I wish I could hide that thing, hide the like the little emotion thing on my end. I don't need it. Yeah, I wish there was a setting serious... to do it, to just, just hide it. I should just hit up YouTube support and be like, hey, could you, like, make that a hideable thing, please? Yeah, because I've heard so many streamers complain about that. Like, if Twitch had something similar to that, it would be, like, in its own little thing and not taking up an entire section of the screen real estate. It'd be on their little, like, chat bar. Yeah. Instead of on that on the actual text box. I think they stole it from uh, TikTok or from yeah. uh, Facebook or Periscope or something. Yeah, but people don't type on TikTok. They just go, ooh, head empty, let's do, let's do this. I, I <laughs> comment on people's TikToks. You're the minority. Yeah, I'm, I'm a idea. super minority. I, 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 <laughs> I am a freaking anime girl that's not a girl. And mm -hmm. plays a video game. You are I'm a super you minority. Are special in that. You are special in that sense. You're, super minority. You're special to me. I'm special to everybody. <laughs> then, then no one watched Barney or told you're special? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's what Barney meant with you, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's special in their own unique way. <laughs> Treat everyone equally, no matter how special they are. I saw something yeah, cursed yeah. on fucking Twitter today. It was so goddamn cursed. I think it was Pippa fucking retweeted it. I'm like, why? Oh, uh, you know it's bad when Pippa retweets it. Yeah. It's an automatic red flag. Automatic red flag. It was like, just memes like, no, you can't do gay marriage. And they said, yes, you can. It's like, no, you can't allow us to change your gender. And like, yes, you can. And it's like, no, you can't genetically modify your DNA to become your persona. And then it like, Links to a goddamn scientific research paper where apparently there's like genetic splicing being a thing. I'm like, are you, are you kidding? Good god. We're using genetic splicing for that. For that purpose instead of the actual, like, useful purpose. I'm just rolling my eyes at it and going, okay, this has to be like a laundering or something because I thought it was discovered that DNA is intrinsic, not, not constructive. Like, it's instructive, not constructive. DNA tells you what to build, it doesn't build. Yeah, because, um, RNA is what... God, I... Going back to bio, which was last, like, two years ago. I can't remember shit. Let me just Google that. Like, so unfortunately you cannot gene splice your genitals to have female genitalia. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, that part's not able to be done, but nearly, uh, according to Stanford, nearly all of our genes can be spliced in more than one way. But that's, you're not able to, like, regrow an arm if you're missing an arm or something with gene splicing. Yeah, yeah. Like, the only thing you do is just change how the DNA instructs the body to build it. <clears throat> not what causes it to be built. Yeah, you can't change an X, uh, an XY into an XX.
You know the you know XY is going away, right? Like the Y chromosome is disappearing. There's men that don't have Y chromosomes. Oh. It's it's like the second X chromosome can like mimic the functionality of a Y chromosome or some shit. Interesting. It is interesting. So it's like okay, then that brings the further question: um, What determines male or female genitalia? Then, if it's because we thought it was the chromosome. What hey, floor uh, is this? Zach, seeing what floor it's. What floor? It's probably you floor number two. I'm about to go to floor number three. In Actually, case you're worried about spoilers. What's going on? Uh, if you if you saw that curse thing, look in general. It may be able to. They may be able to cleanse you. That cleanses me, especially Amelia's Amelia's. Oh fucking hell! I got a question what, how though. How does Cali have the smallest? Yeah, I thought Callie would have the bigger ones. I thought Amelia was smaller than Callie. What the fuck? Amelia is. It goes. It goes. Callie, Kiara, Amelia, and then Ina and Gura are just like I don't know. They not neither of them have I. Like smallest to largest. I I honestly thought it was Gura then Ina then Amelia then yeah, Kiara yeah. and then Mori. That's what it is. I'm is this is this the Sinran Kagura episode where their their boobs get swapped around? That's a thing, by the way. That's in the 3DS Deep Crimson 2 game. Dang. God, I'm seeing, like, uh... I'm seeing the view kind of go from, like, 5 to 2, 5 to 2. <laughs> so repeatedly. What have we done? Mighty Fandom Fox says, Oh, okay, now, there's someone was posted something on this the Discord. And we're just reacting yeah. to it. Yeah, that's our bad. Uh, it's not really able to be shown on stream without... Oh, there's no, like, nipples being shown. It's just cleavage. Actually, but that's I don't fair, because Hollow Life does shows that type of shit on their streams all the time. I mean, it's just, I mean, uh, uh, I'm playing, like, game for little girls, so if I flash titties on screen, it may not be good. Yeah. That makes sense. Sexual innuendos. Why is view count not going up? We all, the early 2000s have taught me loud noises! And, like, referencing everything being genitalia, being, being... Is the f formula for making shit be good. I mean, we know that there are Hollow Lives allowed to show tits because Coco existed. That's yeah. Oh god, poor Coco. All right, sounds yeah. pretty cool though. We got two more outfits we can do. We can do the Baker, we can do Cowgirl. It's actually called Cowgirl Peach. Then there's the two new ones, uh, the Mermaid and the uh, Fighter. You should try Cowgirl. Done Calgo before. She just whips things with a rope. She doesn't get a gun, which is BS. They don't want to give her a gun. N not even like like a little stage prop gun or some shit that yeah. shoots like fucking corks. Peach. No, Tifa Lockhart as cowgirl. Oh lord. <laughs> what? Oh, the mechanic from Final Fantasy VII remake. An earthquake? God What's damn, going I just on? Tifa Lockhart. Holy shit. Okay, yeehaw! How? How? There would be train tracks. I'm gonna need to take a break for a second. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Wow, that's some stamina. Mm. <laughs> the average is usually five. Good god. We start talking about this on this game of all games. Yes. The more child friendly the game is, the more freaking, like, not safe for work it has to be. To the counter it. Has to be. Gotta, scare the, gotta scare the children away. Mm -hmm. Hi ho, Silver. It's obviously not working. You see the BOTW streams. Yeah. Maybe we should play a boring game like Civilization. That's actually not boring, but maybe actually really fun. Yeah, Civ's fun. I, I wish I had that on my PC though. Like, like even like just anything on tabletop. Yeah, I noticed I missed one of the little stars. Disc, disc. How dare you? I think I've decided I'm just gonna run to the stage, and I'll go back and get the stars later. Oh, 
I love how it's like Cowgirl Peach, but then it's like everything she does is kind of like Indiana Jones. Hmm. I mean, come on, she has a freaking lasso. Mm -hmm. How come the bad guys get a gun? Why can't I get a gun? It's not fair. Uh, no, Miyamoto probably screamed that good feeling and said, No, you can't give Peach a gun! Uh, look at the video I sent in the uh, video shared, Dugber. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'll check it out on the bit. Close it. That was a great idea. That is the cutest video I've ever seen in my life. You're not getting past, and then they shoot balls. Can I launch their balls back at them? No. Hey, yo. Let me just keep standing under the stage props that I'm knocking over. It's not loading. Uh, just click the line. Uh, since it's just a YouTube bird. Yeah. Get that heart, and I just lost the heart. Go me. It's just Fubuki and her little pal dancing. Nothing in bling bang bang bing bang bang bing bang bang You don't know when to give up, do ya? In that case. See ya. Oh. Cool. Oh and I remember a moment as he streamed saying that he likes Fubuki. Oh yeah. Fubuki Q. Who doesn't like Fubuki? Come on. CCP Fuck. is now zero. Ha ha ha. Rip stream. That was oh, three. Well. I feel like this game just kind of died when it came out. It's like it came out, everyone played it, and beat it in like one day, and then like discussion's over. Yeah, it's a pretty short game, so that makes sense. Okay, so it's the same thing as the last boss fight. They're gonna throw barrels. I gotta grab them and send them back. Yeah, just grab the smokestack. I was trying to figure out when I went to CC's yesterday why it was so damn busy. It was a Thursday afternoon. I'm like, why are there like two families? There were there were two uh, like Mexican families. So it was like, it was just like the women's. I think it was like maybe three families that were coming in together at once. It was like three wives and their one kid or something. And there was, like, two tables of two different groups. I'm like, is school fucking out or something? It's a Thursday. It's, it's like, break. 3 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Maybe I, spring I, break. Yeah, spring break is I'm on my spring this break. week. That might have been what happened. I have to finish Kadawa Shoujo before I get back. I'm holding I was thinking, all night tonight for that one. I was thinking it's a what Thursday. Happened? It shouldn't be too busy. Blur, what are you, I'm going to have to pull on... I'm gonna have to pull an all-nighter tonight so I can finish the Katawa Shoujo routes because when I changed PCs, my saves got deleted. Oh no. Oh, we gotta go down to the basement Nine. now. Six. My spring you break is uh... through one of the five routes. My spring break is next. Oh, I don't get a spring me. break. 
I work a job. Everyone gets to look forward to doing that when they become an adult. You get to yep, work on all of summer. You get to work on spring break. If you're lucky, you might get a job that allows you to have off on Christmas. Unless you work at some fast food places, in which case you work on Christmas as well. Alright, so now we gotta find the... Lasso. Spirit. There it is. The dark locomotive in the doomed town. I'm pretty sure freeing all these spirits is probably going to be the requirement for finishing the game. I mean, based on the last game, probably. I just hope it's not collecting all the sparks. Megalodon fight. What's going on here? Why is she so panicked? Oh no. Well, this got a little morbid. What happened? There's a sparkle uh, tied to a, uh, a spike on a train track. And the train's gonna go run him over. That's really yep. morbid for a kid's game. The Mickey Mouse thing. <laughs> I like the music in the train set, the chain chase sequence. What a shame. It, it sounds more like Mexico than Texas music. Hmm. I mean, they're both very close to each other. They are. Hmm. Would would you agree that uh that this sound is Mexican? I would agree that this sound is very loud. Yeah, uh, I will not put my pain on this map. Freedom. Um, if you want to, you can. Remember when people got mad? Remember when people got mad at Super Mario Odyssey, the box art? Oh, yeah. That had, like, Mexican Mario on it. They got game. so mad, they actually changed the box art. <laughs> the pre-release box art had, like, Mario and a poncho for Toast Arena. And then the final box art is gone. But what's funny is you flip around the back, it shows the fucking screenshot. So I was like, oh, good job. What I really find strange, yeah, though, is a lot of people got... Yeah. What I really find odd... Is like people got so mad about Princess Peach Showtime and the uh, box art being changed. Like I don't like the new look for it, but it doesn't ruin the game for me. It was like, oh my god, they did Princess Peach Girl Boss re. I'm like, dude, it's a box art. You're gonna take the game out of the box and put it in your Switch, and you're never gonna see it again. <laughs> Who fucking cares? Oh no, you'll you'll see it on the fucking. Um, you'll see it when you load the game up. That's probably the worst part. That's about it. Be quiet, virgin. Exactly. Mm. Re right, what am I doing in this barrel? Oh, uh, just fell out of the stage. Did I, did I fucking die? I didn't. Because that was intended in the story. Now I gotta free this guy down here. I am just landing hundreds on electrocutions in the game I'm playing. Jesus. I'm just playing uh, Ace Angler right now, so it's, just, it's just nice to have that. Well, based on that one YouTube video I saw, 
The game has fishing, so it's game of the year. Theory? Let's go! Yeah, I watched some silly meme video that's like, how to tell if a game is shit or not. It does it have fishing, yes or no. If it doesn't have fishing, it's a shit game. It's a bad game. Oh, I think I think I I think I know who may have said that. It was just like the dumbest thing ever. And then like he got checked real fast when he's like, well, this game doesn't have fishing, which it must suck, and he goes and looks at the rating is like 98 or some shit. I like Vera's fishing. What? Alakir is fishing. In the hollow Oh. Uh, who, who's fishing? It's a fishing minigame in the hollow house. In the yeah. hollow Caribbean. So any of the 38 playable characters is fishing. Yep. Play it now for free on Steam. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think the him. voice actress actually had fun playing as Peach in this one. Because she was given the direction that she can change the voice a little bit to suit the situation. Instead of doing that grating high pitched voice thing, that, that is kind of like annoying. Mm -hmm. For the longest time I thought it was a man that did the voice. I thought it was a man that was going, crazy. Oh, did I win? I'm like, yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. That would be wild. Get small and strong to do Peach's voice in the next game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. help. Exactly. You watch strong, don't you? No. Well. I was just imitating what I the Peach voice as best I could, but my voice can't go high enough. No. Let's go. You gotta swallow Let's your Adam's go. apple. Let's go. That's that was pretty good. It's so strained though, which is because I'm not. I haven't trained my voice. You gotta train your voice. Yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta get a girl voice so I can be a twink. <laughs> oh Jesus. That's, that's an offensive term now too. <laughs> As I think a man it was like... who has been called it several times, I do not give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Because there was like, on one of the Zelda streams, I was tempted to like type in like, uh, Link becomes mm -hmm. a twink for like invading Gerudo, wherever. I'm like, wait, is twink considered offensive? Or is it like a slur? And I look it up, I was like, yeah, it can be considered a slur. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not naming the stream that. Yeah, but my... it's only if you use it derogatorily, which in that case, you wouldn't be. Link likes to dress up as a girl. He likes to be freaking um, androgynous. Having a Halloween party. I love Linkle. I love Linkle too. Linkle is so fucking cute. Mm -hmm. Link is hot. Linkle is cute. Linkle? Who is that? Like, you know, Link no homo. Cute. I actually agree. Link is hot. Uh, yeah. Uh, Linkle is just female Link. I forget what game it was for, but... Hyrule it was Warriors. In Hollow... No, yeah, it was in Warriors. I think it was in the Hyrule game Warriors before that Legends. as well. It oh. wasn't on the original Hyrule Warriors. It was on Hyrule Warriors for the 3DS. And then Hyrule mm -hmm. Warriors Legends. Oh, it was a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing was, like, Linkle had, like, a watch or something, and now it's supposed to be, like, her compass, or it was a compass. You're supposed to like be mystical or some shit. Oh, they're supposed to be zombies. So much porn of Linkle. So much. All right, now. There's been an ungodly amount on the internet. Goes to Wiki. Linkle page. <laughs> I'm 15. I can say that. No matter the age. Now we want to know the age of Linkle. Unknown. It's not listed at all. <laughs> it's not listed. Oh no. I'm fine no matter the age, as long as it's not below 10. Um. That's illegal. 
I am 15. I have a immunity. That's right. It's, I have it's the a little unknown weird. immunity. I have a buff. Wait, you're actually 10, Blair? No, no, he's I'm 15. 15. I was saying, as long as it's not below 10, oh, then I'm fine. Oh, right. You're, you're 15, right, right. Be careful mentioning yeah. age on Discord, because some people have, like, joked about age, claiming that they're under a certain age, and then, like, they got their shit just nuked suddenly, had a contact support. Okay. But I think that was only in text. Well, I'm above the their minimum age requirement, so I'm fine. Which is, yeah, which is 13. Oh, okay. E.G. Onuma stated that due to her popularity, he's going to keep the mind the possibility of including her in the future Zelda game. She has never been seen ever since Hyrule Warriors. Damn. Ionuma lied. Maybe in the next Zelda game. Maybe there should be a spinoff. Hey, uh, you know how you said there's no DLC for Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, Legend of the Blink <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Do it. Do it. Come on, please. I beg of you. Please. I beg of you. Please! Please! I messed up the first two cakes because the... Cakes is supposed to transform when you do it. Right. When did my language get switched to Japanese? You must have pushed buttons or something to do it. I must have. Oh, is there a time limit? There's a time limit. Thankfully, I've memorized the um, menu layout, so I know exactly how to change that back. Gorgeous. English, Japanese, and Indonesian. They call it just the language that's Indonesia. That's interesting. Wow. Instead of Indonesian, which is what it would actually be called that. Interesting. Perfect. It's like calling um, America either USA or Britain. Alright, don't call it Britain. I want to get mad. <laughs> I mean, we, we kind of separated from Britannia for a reason. Britannia? Before... Bro, this ain't no Code Geass type shit. Before there was Brexit, there was a Mexit. Hmm. Uh, I love Code Geass. Every time I think of Code Geass, I just think of fucking, um, Pizza Hut. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it, they got sponsored by Pizza Hut, so that makes sense. The D I played a DS game of Code Geass, and there's like Pizza Hut ads everywhere. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that game. I forget who played it. I think it was the Anime Man, Joey, who played it back in like 2012. Game came out before that, but wow. Obviously, I didn't see it then. I saw it in like 2017. I think uh -huh. I saw this play through then. What like the fuck's been going on with... still normal. What the fuck's been going on with fucking Splatoon recently? Do not know. I I've been wondering that as well. Because there's like been some shit going on on Twitter. I'm like, why is it trending? What what's going on? They yeah. released uh they released the DLC for it. Side order. I want to play through side order. The first deal that you see was just stupid. It's like, oh, you can go to uh, the first Splatoon lobby. And it's literally all it is, just a lobby. I'm like, oh, well, that's... Why is Selen trending? Um... Porn? That's not good. Oh, come on! I think that's what it was. Rosamy had a... Rosamy had a panel uh, get cancelled. Oh. That's unfortunate. Poor Rosamy. Yeah. And now everyone's like, spot the difference between Rosami and Selene. Oh no, is it actually happening to Rosami? It might be, which is very sad. No, not Rosami. No. Absolutely not. They saw the wrath that happened with, with fucking, um, 
Excellent. They do it to Rosami. That's it. It is over. Yeah, they do it to Rosami, uh, Petra, or Scarlet, and they're fucked. Wait, let me check. Let me check for Japanese monster. Rosami got a 3D, uh. I find it a little bit fucked up that, like, they did, like, a 3D thing, and then Poma wanted to do a 3D thing, and she never got to do. Yeah, that was. Except than that one she... concert she did. She also lost, um, a once in a lifetime opportunity, what she said, which was probably a chance to work with Hideo Kojima or something like that. It wasn't Hideo or one Kojima. One of her favorite Oshis. It was probably, like, one of her favorite Oshis or something. Yeah. Oh, it was. It had a Japanese apostrophe. Oh no. Rosami had a Japanese apostrophe. Oh no. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. It's over. No. She's she's oh. getting skin walked. They did it to Petra too! Uh oh. There's two being skinned. Ah, uh, Obsidian is just gonna die, no! No! Because nice. Rosamie and Petra are part of the same generation as Selen, wasn't it? Yeah, Obsidian, yeah. It's a conspiracy, man. Hooray! I'm the head of the conspiracy. What happened is. is, um. Elyra got. Tired of Obsidia being popular, so now she's like sabotaging everything. But hey, that's just a theory. Yeah. A VTuber theory. theory. Yeah, all of, all of their accounts had more subs than Alira did. Oof. Alira was the most popular one for a bit, and then it went to Poma because Poma was great, and then it went to Selene, and then it went to the boys of the. I forget what they're called. Now it's with, and it's always stayed with the boys because they all have like one million subs. Each. Okay, this is a little bit tough. I have to feed the zombies before they get too upset, and then break down the walls. I guess it's kind of like Diner Dash. A million coins. Your game of stage mode without moving at all. Wait out the entire 20 seconds of looking special without drawing. I can do that. That's easy. Clear stage only choosing the first option. And now, clear stage in hardcore mode. Clear stage with main weapon at level one only. Okay, that's easy to get. Okay. Are you just doing all I'm these gonna pieces for Hollow here? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to 100% it. Right now I have 61 out of 82. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run out of hearts on this one and game over on it. Oh, cooking mini game. Yep. I have to break the cookies fast enough for these for these guys knocked on the walls. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the game over screen is Peach getting zombified. No. It's probably just her getting like yoinked off the stage by a cane. Serious? I'm, I made that up, I don't know. I, I was just thinking it was that game over screen because it's zombie. Well, we're gonna find out because here goes the wall. Nope, that's it. It's over. No way! No! That's what happens. Oh, and I lose coins. I literally just typed in a you got this Azu message. No! Okay, so that's all that all it is. It's not really a game over. It just send you back to 
the beginning of the minigame, and you lose a little bit of coins. So it's, it's just like Mario Odyssey. Uh, Again, you know, baby Mario game. Mario Odyssey has to be the easiest Mario game I've ever played. I had some tough moments. It was mainly the sub areas that gave me a problem. Yeah, the movement was fun. I, I got really into the movement, so I didn't really have trouble with much. So each cookie feeds each one of these zombie guys. And I think what's happening is I'm not paying attention to how many guys are in line. Because there's only four on the left, but then because there's eight on the right, they're going to knock the wall down faster. And it's not like there's durability on the, uh, the walls. It's just a timer. This basically is Diner Dash. But... Instead, you get trampled. There we go. We did it. We didn't get all the thingies, though, but that's fine. The other two sparks would have been for getting the other thingies, which I did not get. There's a golden bowl now. I messed this up. Oh boy. So, like, everyone got super diabetes because they wanted to eat sweets or something. I don't know. Delicious! Thank you! Not the lord of the game, now. Not sure. That's your fan cannon? Can fan cannon? Fan oh. cannon. It's hard to speak. Speaking is difficult. I want to see art of Princess Peach in that baker's outfit. It's so fucking adorable. Give me a second, let me go into private mode real quick. Oh no, he's going into private mode. Oh, how did you steal that? Um, it exists, that's all I will say. Okay. On what site are you using there, Lair? A site. Google. Google Images. Google. Uh -huh. Like, don't don't mention I like the Princess websites. Peach Baker's outfit, then a certain word. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring up a website. The uh, a, a website involving like a female chicken wearing a tie. Mm -hmm. Well, that was quick. Just just post that. Just like a picture of a hen wearing a tie with no context, and just say, "That's the tweet." <laughs> like if you know you, I, I Y K Y K, that's the tweet. Yep, if you know, you know. Like what? I don't, I don't get it. What's the idea? What's what's the big deal? The hen young. wearing a tie. I'm like, they don't know you, pure, <laughs> pure soul. Do not leave. Get off the site quick. They're too pure. They're too let pure. Let him go. Let him go. That's actually a problem on Twitter, yeah, like, people... Yeah. That's a real big problem on Twitter, too, is, like, you'll just browse the most innocuous tag, like, I'll browse Pokemon, and then I'll see, like, someone advertising their OF doing a fucking cosplay of Misty or some shit. And can you call it a cosplay, though, when there's barely any costume? 
I mean, they do, so I don't know. But it's like, it's not censored or blurred or like anything like that. Oh, it is full tit and dodge. I know, it's like, what the fuck? How can... It's like, I couldn't... I wouldn't care if it's, like, something that is usually adult stuff, but it's like Pokemon. Like, kids are gonna go on Twitter. 13-year-olds are gonna go on Twitter. They're gonna type in Pokemon, and they're gonna see some freaking e-girls freaking OF advertisement. Okay. 13-year-olds are just gonna look that up anyway now. <laughs> That's just what, what the world's come to. But it's illegal, though. That's the problem. Yeah. It is 18 plus, but not many people listen to that ruling. But don't you know all the soccer moms are like upset about it and we have to ban everything. Oh no, maybe control your stupid ass child. The logic in like all the United States now seems to be, oh, uh, my kids can access this stuff and I don't want them to. So instead of watching my fucking kid, uh, let's just ban it. If it's banned, then the kids mm -hmm. can't access it. No, they'll go on a VPN. And they'll save it from, like, fucking Europe or some shit. This is just a elaborate way to say this is a NordVPN sponsorship without the sponsorship. Uh, I'm not sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by them at all. I don't even use their stuff. No. And then the other thing is, oh, well, that'll happen. Then the next step will be like, oh, we gotta ban VPNs. I'm like, wow, when did America become worse than China? Like, Jesus Christ, government. Here, let's just put cameras in every single person's room. Why not? Why not? It's just, you violated all other privacy things. Why not? So in this stage, Peach bakes a cake. Mm hmm Great, what next? I guess that's what you do, she just bakes a cake. Oh, I thought you were leading into something. Okay. This time, the cake is not alive. Oh, okay. I see. I too like Portal. I mean, like, Mario 64, the cake was a lie. She's like, I baked the cake for you. You go there, there's no cake. You beat the game, then she's like, let's bake a cake for Mario. I'm like, bitch, what happened to the first one? <laughs> yeah. It didn't exist. It was story, a lie. I mean, you don't know how long you spent saving that mission. What mission? Saving her. A good while. Toads might have ate it. The toads are stuck in the walls. How could they have eaten it? They found a way. They had wall this, cake. This is the way. Oh, not this is the way. Good God. We are not going back to Uganda and Knuckles. Yeah, be I'm... careful. Isn't Uganda and Knuckles considered, like, a racial stereotype or some shit? I was not wanting a uh, Uganda and Knuckles reference. I was instead referencing the lawyer. You're referencing what? The Mandalorian. This is oh, the way. I've, I've never watched The Mandalorian. Neither have I. I should ask for the Disney Plus log and so I can binge it. I will be. What, what was that? Is there? Is there like a tornado alert or something? I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Oh, Jesus. I heard, like, a lot of being on his side, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I heard, like, a whistle or something. You ever think these stages give little girls nightmares? Huh. What the heck?
Welcome to my high octane baking arena. Come here, you phantom boy. Thanks. Time for a bake off. I promise to let you leave if you bake me. Oh, yeah, right. Geez. So we're gonna be making cookies this time, I bet. I kinda suck at the cookies part. First one to fill their plates once. Yeah, it's gonna be cookies. Because the trick is to let it go to rainbow. I wonder what? what's up there. Good sir, why do your cookies look like shit? Looks like mud cookies. Oh, that's I wonder. I wonder what's up with the I wonder too. He said he'll be right back, so. Well, before he, like, before he, like, cut off, I heard, like, beeping. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, I don't know, maybe someone run the doorbell. This guy wants me to bake, but then he turns around and he does butt slams. Who's this dude think he is? Amelia Watson? Mm. Ground pound That's your dude. mom. Dude, she does ground pound. But, but like, like that. Don't you freaking butt slam me when I just got the cookies made. They're speed hacking. Is he messing you up? Yeah, he just butt slammed me and I lost all the cookies I fucking made. This bullshit. And he's speed hacking. Fucking speed hacker, dude. That is bullshit. Why can't I butt slam them to make them fuck up their cookies? That's not fair. I didn't get any ribbons either, what the hell? Promise to let us go. No, no, no. Speed is important. Only taste. Your taste like mud. What's the one thing to do? Here. Eat the cookie. Flavor is so much flavor, it's just sugar. It's literally sugar. <laughs> Delicious! Thank you! I even missed the ribbon, too, that I could have gotten from the area. No way, I got that one, too. So I just missed the one sparkle. That is unfortunate. <laughs> Your baking skills are superbly the best. Nice. So how many more do we have that to do? Oh, I can't jump down the railing. We got the baker, we got the sword fighter, we got the cowgirl. There's detective and, um, there's ice skater and detective, secret agent and, uh, 
ninja, then mermaid. How many ensembles do we have? So aside from the default one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've gotten Baker, we've gotten Swordfighter, we've gotten Cowgirl. We have not freed Dashing Thief and Ninja, Figure Skater and Detective. So we haven't freed four yet. How many doors are down here? There's three. Four, five, six, there's seven left. There's seven left? Yeah, seven. So okay, the four that are over there. The one I had the one I haven't touched yet is mermaid. I think mermaid would be a cool one. I'm trying to figure out how many ensembles there are, because this this area kind of spoils it. I freed three, oh. I haven't freed four. There's four doors that are still locked on the right hand side. Then it's, uh, there'll be one more layer down. It looks like there's space for two more layers. There's one more layer down. It's going to be Mermaid and then two more, but then there's space for a final ensemble. Which will probably be for a final boss or something. Or it'll be like, whatever's going to be right here, because it totally looks like there's a door here. Even though there isn't one. There is totally a door there. That doesn't add up though, because there's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. There's ten ensembles in total. I am back. Welcome back. What happened? What ha uh, I just got called downstairs. That's it. Oh. Okay. We thought something bad or of of higher escalation was. Yeah, no. Nope. Alright, there's ten doors. Uh, Princess Peach is the default ensemble. Uh, if there's another row down here, that would be nine, and then underneath pastry would be ten. So yeah, there's our... There's a total of ten. Ten ensembles. Ensembles is like personas, right? Like, like the things that Peach can transform into? It's just costumes. Ah. Uh. That's what Peach turns into. I don't know why they they don't use the term persona because it's just, yeah. it's just a costume ensemble. She's just dressing up in a costume and playing a character. Uh, I gotta say the message to little girls in this is a lot better than like emotions. Yeah, that was bad. I didn't think it was really bad to be honest, but like emotions though, it was kind of a stereotype. This one's like. Yeah. Girls, join the theater club. Please do join the theater club. Theater is underrated. Theater is underrated. I'm in stage crew. I don't go on stage, so but I help out. It's so underrated. It's right, so, so fun. It is. Fighter Peach. Let's go. Oh, Alien Invasion? Oh, this is going to be fun. Is this going to turn into like a beat-em-up? That's the other thing, too, is, like, every ensemble changes the gameplay slightly. You don't really play as normal Princess Peach through most of the game. It's, like, usually one screen, and then you get the ensemble on the first act. And then the other acts, you start in the ensemble. And then each ensemble does have drastically different gameplay. I mean, it's still platforming, but, like, what you do might be different. Aliens! Chifu. 
Now they're shooting lasers. I can see the fish wire hooks, guys. Come on. Hello? Hello. Oh, that's the guy with the hat. That's the guy who's gonna give me a ribbon. I gotta get to him. Chifu, is your mic muted or something? You're just a little quiet, is all. Aliens, oh no. Oh no, this isn't... This is Superhero Peach. That's what this one's gonna be. Hello. Hello. Every time the game drops frames, I just go, ugh. Like, seriously, this this is not a graphically you, intensive game. Are you still playing uh, Princess Peach uh, Showtime? Showtime? Yeah, I am. Okay. Like, freaking Yoshi's Crafted World was an Unreal Engine, and it didn't run this bad. Why... Are they just using a newer version of Unreal Engine or something? Is that the problem? Maybe. Yee. What happened? Uh, which sticker? That was sticker. Send it somewhere so I can see what you're talking about. Probably in general. If you want to play an actual superhero game, go play Agents of Mayhem. It's not a very good game. It's not an awesome game, but it's just good enough. Engage the system! Princess Peach in tights. Sticker. Really? Apple sticker. <laughs> an apple. It's an apple sticker. Sticker. Oh, apple. What should I do with the sticker? I don't know. Put it on your phone. Put it on your forehead. Put it on your dog. In general, without seeing the image. Wait. I have an idea. I have an Mighty idea. Peach. Actually, don't put it on your dog. Actually, that would be mean. I'm gonna put it in my meta quest. Image you sent in general is so distracting. I'm gonna put it in my meta quest. Oh, sweet. Yes, sir. It'll, it'll be a meta vision apple, bro. Nah. <laughs> yeah, get a damn meta quest. I just realized something. The sticker is white. My medicus is white too. Oh, it should have been a black sticker. Would have stood out more. Oh, God. I just picked up that daggone spaceship and just flung it. Mess them up. Oh man, I should have threw that at the bad guys. Yeah, like that. Just pull a Mario 2 on everything. Throw your enemies at your enemies. Oh. Dude, I still remember the Game Boy Advance commercial where it's like a guy sitting in the airport. And it just like 
was chaos. It was like controlling people and they were picking up people and picking up objects and throwing shit. Oh, I gotta stand under. Okay. I was like, I gotta throw it. No, I don't have to throw it. Just stand under it, idiot. Nice. You put it on that. It actually would have looked better if it was a black sticker. Which is unfortunate. There's no way we'll be able to cross that. Not a bad attitude. Oh no, it's a uh, octopus guy. Oh no. Oh, you get back here. Stop abducting people, that's rude and illegal. Stop having eye frames. Cheating. Yo, Phantom Stage. At least in this game, when you game over and lose coins, it's only based on the coins you've collected and not your total coins, unlike Mario Odyssey. Yeah, that makes it a lot. Harder compared to Odyssey, where you just have like thousands of coins and you're never gonna die again. No, if you if you don't have any coins, it doesn't make it harder. You just lose coins. If you have zero coins, something happens. Oh, you don't game over because I actually did that. I I threw myself off a cliff at the beginning of the game. Like, what happens? And it just shows the little you losing coins, but you have no coins. Interesting. That's all. Like, the punishment in Odyssey is like, oh man, I've lost coins and I'm trying to buy a thing. And this game was like, oh, I'm just lost coins I'm going to get at the end of the game. The end of the stage. Mm -hmm. But the only thing you could buy is just other outfits anyway, so... Oh no! They got abducted. Oh no! Anyway... Quick, aboard the telepater. Anyways... How's it going, everyone? No, like, oh no. So anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got the jetpack. Is this the uh, side scroller bullet hell part? Oh, come on, it's a side scroller, but I don't get bullets. Life Force, this is not. Life Force? I think not. No, there's a game called Life Force. It was a uh, shoot 'em up. You just have this like wealth of Nintendo knowledge that none of us have. I don't think it was a Nintendo game. I mean, it was on the NES, but it's not an official Nintendo game. Like, I thought I knew a lot about Nintendo games until I until I met you. Oh yeah. Let me catch one of these phantom dudes. Jesus. I know these guys are like one of the hardest fish in the game to try to catch. Come on. Oh yeah, in the hollow house? Mm -hmm. I already got the 50 combo one, so now I just have to get fish. Oh, I do have the counter. 
Why did I take damage if I countered though? What the hell? Maybe spin! It wasn't perfect counter. Probably. Spin! 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 So long, gay Bowser! <laughs> Mario 64 is so good. Oh. Yeah, that's a classic line. <laughs> so long, he doesn't dude. even say gay Bowser either. It's just a lo it's so long a Bowser. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you very much. Charles Martinet is a fucking liar. It's so long, gay Bowser. I've listened to it so many times. Like, it is not so long a Bowser. It's so long, it's gay Bowser. Yeah, it's gay Bowser. It's gay Bowser. Mm -hmm. So long, happy Bowser. He's not very happy when he's getting thrown into a bomb. Womp womp. <laughs> or in the case of Terminal Montage, so long, gay Bowser, and thrown into an explosion. <laughs> you, every time someone says womp womp, I just think of Shy Lily. Same. And, <laughs> That's fair. And how I want to womp womp so hard. Okay, buddy. <laughs> you don't understand. No, I understand. I just I draw boundaries. I would ride that whale. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways. Anyways. Do you mean like or or cat? No, yeah, I mean I like I put on a cowboy hat and I'd ride on her back. Oh. I know, but she's an or cat. So like or orcas aren't man killing. They're not man killers. They're misunderstood. You're an interesting specimen. They actually don't kill people. I don't know why they're called like man killer whales because they don't really kill people. They just make a big splash. They're just called killer whales. I've never heard them be called man killer whales. Mm. <laughs> this place, everything mermaids, including talented singer with a stunning voice. Oh boy. Who wants to bet the mermaid's gonna be gone? And then King Triton's gonna get mad. I oh, do, no. I do. Is Peach actually going to transform into a mermaid? Yes. That's what's gonna happen. So I'm watching the stream intently right now. Oh, really? Waiting. Oh no, it's the bad guys. It's mer villains. It's One Piece, it's Fish Island. <laughs> So sad that it's still on Drake. Wow. Oh Jesus! What was that how? Me dropping my controller by accident. I like how all the props are made out of like wood and stuff. It's so cool. Like Super Mario Three. It's actually like Yoshi's Crafted World because Crafted World kind of did something similar. Oh yeah. yeah. I love Yoshi. Yoshi's my hero. And I missed a spark at the beginning of the damn stage again. You gotta be searching intently. Apparently. We can't hold the concert without the singer. Fuck. I missed my combo. It's a shame. Thankfully I already have that achievement, so I don't really have to worry about it. Oh, um, Blair. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, do you know the arcade game A thing? Uh, what? The arcade game called Ace Angler. Uh, I'm googling it. I think I, I, I remember the name. Wait, Peach isn't underwater. If she transforms into a mermaid, she's gonna freaking asphyxiate. Oh, oh no. that game! I know of it. I've never played it. Uh, they have a Switch uh game for it. Oh Didn't yeah, it yeah, I'm come with like a angler fighting spirits. Yeah, there's Mermaid Peach for you. Oh. In the stream, I think. Yeah, no, 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 no. 
waiting for the delay. God damn! Oh man, I'm probably gonna go check it too. It's not as if bad only as she wasn't like... flat as a board. She normally isn't. What happened to her ass? It's non existent. Yeah, I know. I'm sad. Peach never had an ass, says people. Um, yeah, she did. Did you never play Mario Golf Toadstool Tour? Good God. Oh, so it's like Aquaman. I can control fish. Oh, my Lord. It's really funny how whenever we start talking about uh, sexual things, there's just always a viewer who leaves. They're just lurking and then they leave. Wow. That is something. What the fuck? I thought sex sells. I've been lied to. Well, yeah, but you're on a game that probably has like, what, 13 year old women just joining in? Not my def... eight year old daughter. I was deafened in watching the no, Mermaid Beach there. Okay, buddy, calm down. Is this gonna be like swim this way from Kingdom Hearts when I have to freaking do like rhythm game stuff? Oh no, the Sea Witch! It's gonna be the Sea Witch, isn't it? I've never played Kingdom Hearts, I need to play it. Oh, it's not the Sea Witch. Never mind. Oh, anyway, uh, Lur, I saw you, uh, you, you know the game. Do you think you'd wanna get it? I might, I'm just kinda. Don't have a job right now because I'm waiting to get my license. Oh. Uh. Okay. Whoa, controls. So I I might get it at some point, just maybe not anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a classic game. Since I played the arcade game a lot, I like this version too. It has a mm -hmm. lot more stuff you can do. Whenever I went to the arcade, I would always play Street Fighter 2. Oh. So I never got really into that type of thing. Ah. Whenever I go to arcades, I mostly play the racing game, and I look for two in particular. Them being, uh, I know, I play H2 Overdrive and uh, Dirty Drive, and those two I love. So this is really cool. They Nintendo has done this in other games, where they have just like the music be layered and they fade a track in and out based on what you're doing. Oh yeah, that's Peach I, is, I love when Nintendo does that. Peach is singing is synced up with it. And if I stop, it just fades that track out. I, I liked when they did it with, um, what is it, fucking... Link's Awakening. With, with all the, the different the fucking... instruments? Mm hmm That was really cool. Really cool effect. Princess Peach is now a Disney princess, confirmed. Because <laughs> Disney princesses sing and they have animal friends. Let's go. That is true. I actually More forgot the. Language. I forgot the Disney princess's name that that can do that regularly. So... Belle. No wait, uh, Sleeping Beauty. I forget her name, but yeah, it's Sleeping Beauty. Aurora, Princess Aurora. I think yeah. So in this stage, I'm playing as two characters. I'm playing as Peach and the fish. And when I hold down the B button, Peach stands in one spot. And then I have to move the fish. Okay, um... I'm deleting two messages in the Discord. I'm gonna send them in mod chat in a second. Wait, I can't delete messages. No. What, why not? It, it won't let me. You might have it off in mod powers. All right, hang on. Yeah, I'm Is sending the, two the that... messages in. 
Yeah. Yeah, come on now. Why yeah. not? You should be able to. You're a moderator. Oh, yeah. You yeah. have to, you have to specify messages that. or specify, like, controls for moderators. You might just not have it on. Chifu just said that it's a furry on my cat image in AI art. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. In all caps, which we have specified several times for people not to do. Okay, I wish so now we gotta do system. moderator. Yeah, we don't have, we just have roles in moderator, so let's see. Um, so underneath moderator roles, uh, Bet attach, mention, allows members to delete messages by other members or pin any message in this channel. Read message history, check, and now you should be able to do it. Let's see, permissions and There's no way to copy paste those permissions on the other channels. All right, you're able to do it. Yeah, avoid spamming chat using loud noises or that being disruptive. Uh, it's still in all caps. <laughs> I I don't see it in general anymore. It's gone. No, it's an AI art. Oh right. Oh, that then that was the wrong thing then. <laughs> yeah, I can delete messages in uh in general. But so the two things I need to do was. <gasps> Manage messages. Read message history. Okay. Just had a man or something on the Discord, everyone. Yep. Sorry, I did not see that earlier. That's all right. Eels like singing too. We gotta free this guy. Oh, we got a little bit of a puzzle. I have to close and open some things. That was brutal. Dude just got crushed under the door. Ha <laughs> ha! So heavy. Oh, bro just got annihilated. Holy shit. Oh, wait. Free the turtle. All right, everyone, let's go back to the venue. Who wants to bet, like, the next one of this is going to be, like, um... I'm waiting for one to be a freaking rhythm minigame. The kind turtle will carry us there. Hooray! Hi. What happened? Drop a controller again? I'm checking things on the Hololive wiki. <laughs> I actually just dropped it. Oh, the wait, wiki. like the, the, the fandom Hololive like, wiki? Yeah, because I, I'm looking up uh, what, I, what the hidden achievements are. 
Oh, like the hollow care with. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna have a VTuber wiki page. There is a virtual YouTuber page. There's not. Not one for me. I'm not going to get the star for this one because I've messed up too many times. Yep, didn't get it. How do you sing under the water anyway? How does that fucking work? Well, if she's a mermaid, then that's not really work. That's not, that's not how physics works. It would sound muffled and horrible. Are we doing another boss fight? Yeah, we are. We're gonna make you make it to floor number four. Is this game gonna be a two streamer game? Like I stream like two freaking episodes and then that's it. Maybe, or you could just do a one stream game. Just stay up late. I gotta go to work tomorrow though. That's fair. Because something I've noticed is there's only three stages for each ensemble. The third one's in the basement. So you do two of them and then you like unlock the door in the basement. So we just got introduced to Mermaid. There's, there's probably five floors. There's either five floors or there's seven floors. I'm trying to think how many there are. Because it's two for each ensemble, and then after you clear the second one, you've got to go down to the basement and free the sparkle. Is that the Cheshire Cat? <laughs> Meow. Are Mew the Peach and Stella I've oh. heard about? <laughs> Not the Meow. Mew oh. are barely bit parts in Madame Grape's esteemed production. Try as much as you like. Mew won't succeed. I just like it here. I suppose Mew Is think you can defeat someone as grand as me, the guardian of this dark door. Yeah, it's like a cat with a film reel for like a little neck poof. I'll swipe those smug expressions right off your little faces. Mm. Could be worse, this could be actually be voice acted in the game. That'd be... I don't know if that would be better or worse, to be honest. Projector Cat. Oh, great, the puns don't stop. 
Oh, I'm, I'm like a little mouse. As you do realize you have the choice not to voice act. But it makes the stream entertaining. Okay, well, there's a bomb. Yeah. What do I do with the bomb? Blow it up. Oh, I think I have to put the bomb in the center. When he does that attack, that's what's supposed to happen. That's what I have to do. I should not have taken damage from that. I was on top of the wall. Oh, I hit the pause to stop it, too. I'm sure I take damage from this, right? Yeah, you did. Fortunately, all the bosses have been like three phases. So sparkle them three times and that's it. And it is nice that they give you a heart back every time you clear a phase. So you gotta bump the bomb in the middle. And you gotta swap the paws away. So he doesn't mess up where the bomb's placement is. The tail doesn't mess with the bomb, it's only the paws that do it. It's like, what is being done to the bosses anyway? Are you like, corrupting the little soul orbs or something and like, exploding the little souls or some shit? That's the real question. How has this gotten more views than the fucking Zelda stream? The concurrents are not holding out as much as the Zelda stream then, but it's like more views. I guess people really are searching for this game then. Yeah, and they're making them go away by talking about sex. Segs. Segs. We, we gotta crack the innuendos. I mean, I just, I just fought a giant pussy. I, d I whipped that pussy real good. <laughs> and I just watched the person leave. <laughs> Wait, what's I this? I'm not making it as a streamer. I don't know. Not streaming hard enough? Could be anything, really. Starlift. Oh, okay, so this is our fast travel. I don't want to try it out. I want to go to the next floor. I have no reason to go to the basement. Because I was about to say, like, if I'm gonna climb up and down these damn stairs... Oh, wait! Oh, that's cool! I just discovered something. Peach can slide down the railing. Oh, that's good. She slaps her big booty on it and just slides on down. Fair enough. This is encouraging girls to, like, slide down railing and dangerous. Nintendo. How dare, How dare you? <laughs> Next floor! Alright, so we have Investigator again. We have... Investigator. Alright, so Ninja 2, 
uh, Super Thief 2, um, Private Eye Investigator 2, and then there's a new one. So how many ensembles do I have left? I think it's... Yeah, it's only two ensembles left, so... I guess they're panning out the final ensemble to the next floor. Because then the next floor would be... The new one, right? Yeah. So, this one is giving me... Ninja 2, Dashing Thief 2, and Detective Peach 2. So the next floor will be Figure Skater Peach 2, Mermaid Peach 2, Mighty Peach 2, and then... Whatever the one that's going on this floor is going to be. I'm going to do the hardest one first. And it's none of the combat ones. It's literally the freaking investigator one. Oh no! My one weakness! Using gray matter. That is your one weakness. My one weakness! Using my brain! She seriously looks like Amelia Watson, though. Yeah. Yeah, she does. And that's a She's good thing. Peach cosplaying as Amelia Watson. If Amelia Watson plays this... If she has played this, I want to see her reaction when she does Investigator Peach. I want to see a clip of it. She probably hasn't played it. They probably don't yeah. have arms yet. Oh, cool. new. He walks his path through a day, so let's keep here. Keep a sharp eye out. What's that guy? No, Nintendo, don't do that. That's racist. What? This is encourage this is encouraging girls to profile people based on their appearance. Oh, okay. Damn, no, because like all the other all the other guys looked looked the same. This guy looks different, and now we gotta follow him. Cause he's a different color. Nintendo, that's racist. Didn't your ESG training teach you anything? You're not supposed to do that. This and get her peach got me acting up. <laughs> got you acting up, really. <laughs> really? I mean, look at it. She is real cute. Got my brain matter going. Neurons activated. Yup. I'm just playing Call of Duty on my PlayStation. I'm so bad at like detective games, I couldn't even finish Detective Pikachu. I just like That's... big dumb. You know there's a second That's... Detective Pikachu game, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I haven't played it yet because I haven't finished the first one. And I have the fucking amiibo. Oh. You have I have people the people on your side. I, I don't want to look the stuff up then. Then why? If I, if I just wanted to look up the whole guy, why don't I just watch someone else play through the whole game and go, alright, I beat it. Well, then you're never playing Detective Pikachu 2. Then I'll just watch someone else play Detective Pikachu 2. I'm sure Vine Sauce did it. Probably. I just want to get Shadow of the Colossus on the PlayStation 4. This is all Jacksepticeye play, and I want to play it. Yeah. Uh, Azu. What's up? You know, uh, you know Call of Duty Ghosts, right? Yeah. That's the version of Cod and Play. But did you know that there was a, uh, there's an announcer voice pack that includes Snoop Dogg? Oh my god. How much did they pay Snoop Dogg to do that one? Millions. It's like, just, you want Snoop Dogg to do something, just pay him money. Alright, so one of these is like the real painting Roll or something. Point. Only one of these three things is done by the legendary artist Mira Poulos. I'll give you a prize and you can figure out which one it is. Okay, well, how do we figure that out? I love everything Mira Poulos paints, but I have him foggiest which one of these is the real deal. 
Please find the real painting. More tips needed. The painting of a castle is done by can't someone using out. my name. Don't be fooled. Bro, if you can't figure it out, are you really a, a real connoisseur of their art? The painting of a castle is done by someone using my name. Don't be fooled. Okay, so they put someone out. Who am I? Just an artist of no particular importance. Okay, so it's not the castle. Mm -hmm. City at peace. Student of the arts. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's an uh, odd one out. So we were told by this person over here that the castle is not the real one. We examine the castle one, it says a beautiful castle by Mira Kulos. And then we examine a city of peace by Mira Kulos, and it says student of the arts. And then the detective one doesn't have any subtext as well, so it's probably the middle one, though. That's the only odd one out. And no, it's not the right one. You have five lives, but there's only three paintings. I know. That makes so much sense, yeah. I'm stupid for thinking otherwise, yeah. Of course. How was I supposed to figure that one out? If we were just going odd one out, the one on the left has a... It's done in a completely different style, so that's the only thing that would stand it out. <laughs> See, I overthink this shit. That's what messed me up. He told me that this pa castle painting is the one that's not the right one. And if we examine the paintings just at face value, we can see that one of them is done in a different style. Still don't understand how like a six-year-old is supposed to figure that out. I can see six-year-olds getting stuck on this one. Oh, I'm sorry, let me get this out of your way. There is again, let's take care not to lose him this time. Get low key. Get that was low close. Key. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Oh, that was a multi kill. Get ready. So I'm gonna get japed. Yep, gonna get japed. Up ahead. This door's left a little open. Hey, coins! Seems like the hideout is somewhere around here. Alright, three doors. And we have to figure out which one's the right one. We're gonna just finish you know what, so it's time for the three of us to meet at the hideout. Someone's been this way. Maybe they went to the apartment. Hopefully, not me and my little brothers, though. Live in the apartment on the far right. Well, that's great, but I want to go to the sub area. Yes. Investigate box.
I still can't get over when you solve the thing, the sound effect is like from a freaking game show. I would hear it, but I don't like hearing my own voice, so I just have the stream muted. Ah, that's alright. Anyone suspicious, no one's been this way, went to the apartment. Alright, so they live in the apartment to the far right. So we gotta figure out which one of these three doors it is, and it's not the one on the far right. There's also shapes above the doors. There's plant, there's leaf, there's star. It's probably star. Seeing some of the apartments up ahead. My friend here moved those apartments up the street. Hopefully invite me over sometime. My roommate and I recently moved into the place with the flower relief. Okay, so it's not a star, it's a flower. So it's not the far right one, it's not the far left one. Because we have star, we have leaf, we have... It's a, 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 my first guess would have been the middle door. It has one leaf above it. There we go. Soon in this city, the you know what goes you know where. Okay, a Nintendo. You don't have to. You don't have to word it like that. The you know what goes you know where. Thanks, rookie. Interesting wording. Rookie, you just shouted bomb and scared the frick out of him. Good job. Treasure chest, let's open it. Yes. Ah. <sighs> yes, private investigators go and uh, just steal shit from random people's treasure chests. Of course, yeah. Plants at. Plant hat with the bell detonate midnight. No, it seems to have details of their plan, but that's all torn up. I can't read most of it. Okay, then there's a sign in the back. Aww. Looks like a map. One of was related to their plan somehow. Okay. You have to figure out what they're gonna blow up. Telescope. They're looking at the stars. Let's see. What are they looking at? What's it pointing out? Clock tower. They're going to blow something up. We can't stop them if we don't know what their target is. Where do you think they're going to set off their bomb detective? Alright, so we have three buildings. We have a map, and we have a telescope, and we have the book. Ah. The book said, plant at, with the bell, detonate, midnight. It's a building with a bell. It's the only thing I see with a bell. It's a model of a large bridge inside the city. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, the uh, the map that's on the background is actually showing on the floor. That makes it too easy. Ah. Mm. Where Rookie is standing is where the apartment is. Mm -hmm. huh? It's a model of a museum. Looks familiar, huh? This is an exact replica of the city's clock tower. This is the only structure with a bell. So my guess... It's the bell tower.
They're going after the clock tower. Yep, that's where they're going. We need to tell the police. And they're going to do it at midnight. We need to get the police. Thank you for helping with another case. We've confirmed three intruders of an explosive entered the building. We're heading in now. Now we have to go find the explosives. Oh, it wasn't a sub area. Alright, this way. Is this gonna be a time limit kind of deal? Detective, we should use the lift to follow them. There's keys. Five, nine, blank, eight, and scribbled. They made a real mess of things here. The device should work with the proper key. Lift controls. Use the key with the matching number to operate the lift and move to that floor. There aren't any stairs, that's no good. That's an OSHA violation. Yep. So we're spiral oh, stair staircases now. Seriously? Residentially. Oh, residential spiral okay, staircases. Yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna go across and look at all these numbers. people have fallen down them and you can't really get back up. No, you can't. You're just gonna tumble. Yep. I think it's this one. This one's painted over, I can't make out what it used to say. This one is tilted. Would it look like a different number num a different number if it was flipped? No, it'd still look like eight. That's strange. There's a seven dangling here. Okay. Can't tell it's supposed to be the number five of the letter S. Nine looks like it's gonna fall off. So it's either the one that's painted over, or it's the number nine. That's actually a six. It's it's the one that's painted over. It's not. Well, then it's the number nine, then. Uh -huh. Should've went with my first guess, so I figured it was the nine. It's the six key. You did it, now we can chase after them. <gasps> Don't touch the documents. Hey, there's something shiny moves documents anyway. There's a crook! He has been crook. There's a crook back here. So we're playing hide and seek. Let's go. Town is full of beans, where's the bomb? Not here, but feel free to waste more time hanging out with me. We gotta find the three crooks then. That'll give us the last few sparks. Hey. 
You're you're not getting by me. Arrest him. Oh my god, police brutality. Head over the bomb right what you don't have it? Then where is it? Talk! Good luck, chumps. You sure won't find it up on the top floor. You just told me where it is, idiot. Power of deduction, find out where it is. Okay. So not top four, or it could be top four then. Oh my god. I got a final kill with a rocket launcher while killing myself as well. You're killing the. Oh, you're killing. You're playing Call of Duty. I thought you were playing. I'm like, you're killing the bass with a rocket launcher? What the fuck? No. <laughs> Alright, it's definitely trying to trigger Bentwell from the bottom of the top floor. Right. I bet so too. But he's rookie. Uh -huh. Where would this part of why someone tried to hide it here? It's a cog. There's something in here. It's part of that gear. I don't think we should touch this. Touches it to get the coins. Where's the last one? No, it's only three. Put all the parts in there. Do the lift. The gear's broken, I don't think we can use it. There's a key. This device opens and closes the duct. If you look close, you can see how it's connected to the gears. Okay. I see a crook. That's a big gear, all right. And there's a crook back there. Get him! Is that a big gear, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I didn't think we'd find one here. Well done. Carry on, detectives. <laughs> you may have caught me, but the bomb is still tick, tick, ticking away. You can do this joker to me, just focus on finding that bomb. Okay, that's where the key is. We have to move the cog. I think you do something with the gear? Yeah, we're gonna put it over here. Then go get the key. Then use the key on the lift machine. Hey, look, I found the bomb. Ah. Nice. Door is slightly ajar. I wonder what's inside. Nothing. That's a tablecloth. Oh, wait, there's something rectangular under it. It's rectangular. It's fine. I hear ticking from coming inside that box. But that's not the bomb, though. Everyone in the city will hear when it rings. Like, I just saw it when the, the lift was going up and the camera was panning upward. Well, don't just stand there and dance. Turn the bomb off. Or, like, throw it. Throw it! Throw it, idiot! Oh no, detective's gonna get blown up!
Detective fumbled the ball. I had to pick it up and save his ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Almost blew us so both up. Hey, we got all the sparks this time. Now we gotta go down into the basement. But seeing as there's like... I think two other doors that are gonna be the second one, I'll just do those and then we'll go down to the basement and knock those both out. Alright, how about I do Showtime. the Super Thief, the Stolen Statue. Or, I think it's like Secret Agents what it was called. Get to be a spy. Get to do spy things. Stop that! Oh no, they stole the statue! How dare they! How dare they! Our city's iPhone! How dare! These stages are more fun because this is more like, of an action stage. Do you, uh, do you really like the game? The game is enjoyable. Oh, well. They're gonna get off stream and be like, God, that game sucked ass. No, the game's actually really good. It's a lot better than Yoshi's Crafted World. I did not enjoy Crafted World. It was way too easy. And it kind of put me yeah. to sleep half the time. I think what it was is it just overstated its welcome. Like, you cleared a stage in Crafted World, and then you could go through the stage again, but in reverse. So, like, in order to collect all the collectibles, you need to go through the stage twice. And then there were... I did that on purpose to get the star. And then... There was, like, on the world map, there's, like, one of the little crafty guys he talked to. And he's like, oh, go to the stage and, like, find all these th freaking MacGuffins in the background. <clears throat> and you have to hit them with your eggs. And it just pads out the game even more. <clears throat> I mean, I did all that to get the true final boss. The regular, the regular final boss in the Crafted World is good. I finished it. But then, like, after you get all the damn collectibles, it unlocks, like, a super-duper hard level. And it's, like, a massive difficulty spike. And I just dropped it right there. I'm like, well, I guess I'm never going to see the true final boss because this boss is, like, way, like, 20 times harder than the main game for some reason. Oh, now the, now the eyes are eye. It was a bet that just stuns them, that just stuns them. Uh oh, ow. This dude is just intently looking at that little thing. Him, zap you. Give me those. All 
All right. Um, that's gonna turn the lights on so it opens the door. Got him. I was supposed to take damage there, and I dodged it at the last second. Nice. Abnormality detected. Well, don't put the spotlight on me. Intruder detected. Oh, we gotta go. That's some BS. I got stuck. Right to the window. Or, nope, Hacker Man. You have been Hacker Man. Get Hacker Man. Okay. Down we go. This would be the only time you'd probably see Peach in a Nintendo game slide down a pole. We can move the crane. Oh, we have to move the crane. I don't even know what the hell I did. Yes, yeah, put the enemy right next to the thing I need to activate. Hacker Man achieved. Now we have to escape. Initiating self-destruct. Uh -oh. We gotta go. I wanted to see if there's anything to the left. There was nothing to the left. As um, Darkwing Duck would say, exit stage left. All areas locking down. Mm. Oh, that's fair. I got to do that part again so I can get the darn star. I don't know what happened the first time I tried that. I didn't. Maybe I didn't see the booster thing. Maybe that's what happened. That's what's sad. These ones are so short to do. I like this one. I missed a spark. Let's just go do this stage a second time so I can do it again. Actually, let's not. I said the first time I did this, I can collect the sparks I missed on my own.
It probably just unlocks a yay you got them all thing. Like a little message or something. Otherwise, I just wind up like recording it, Let's go. and just like throwing up a little video that shows what it is. Ninjutsu: The Art of Flames. Are we gonna get the burninate stuff? Blur. Yeah. Are you still playing a, a Hollow Life fan game? Yeah, I'm Ninja still playing Hollow here. Ninja Gaiden time. Time to get the all the fishing stuff done. Guys, gonna be a problem. Oh. They've attached something to the castle. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be like Kaela there, because that's what she kept doing. Well, yeah, but I have almost all achievements done, so I'm just getting these done, so I can just focus on the actual main gameplay. That's a good idea. I did that on purpose. I got detected on purpose so I could jump in there and get him. Also, it's relaxing, and I'm kind of tired, so... Oh. But I have to wake up. I must complete Katara Shoujo. Before I go back to school. Oh, oh shit, I have midterms. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. So actually, uh, you should be studying. Trick, so you have I'll to study. study Monday, Tuesday, so it's actually still in my brain. Okay, that's good. Because I'm leaving Friday, so I have to do it. The test is supposed to be Thursday, Friday, because it's a two-part test. So I'm just doing it Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. When? Uh, what? Where are you leaving to on Friday? Yeah, New York are... City. New York City? For what? Yes, I'm going... Yeah, I'm going for my birthday, because my birthday is April 9th. Wait, what? Birthday's what? April 9th. Oh. That's lucky, dude. I want to go to New York. I've gone there once before for a band last November in 2023. Hey. No. I'd like I to go visit the Nintendo store that time, though, which was sad. I'm about Are to you get going to New York as well. Yup. You're going to the Nintendo store this time? Mm-hmm. I'm you spending to, all the money. You have to you have to take uh you have to take like pictures. Oh I will. Send them to us. See how it was over there. Of course, of course. I'd like to um go to New York, but I'm afraid of like pickpockets. Yeah, I was fine last time because it was in a group, but eh. as long as you have zipper pockets and all that, you should be fine. Just like buy pants with zipper pockets and wear them. Hurry! Hurry, he says. Let's hurry. You can make use of the rotating walls up ahead. Oh, Callie is just fishing squids. That's all Callie's doing. <laughs> Wait, who is your who is your character that you're using in the Hollow House? Right? I'm using Suisa. Oh. Cal I normally Cali use Wii Cali is just there, fishing? Yeah. I do like that you can interact with the other, like, playable characters of the roster in the Hollow House. Cool. Yeah, it is very, it is very cool. Four more sparks to find in the level. And they fish for you sometimes as well, which is nice. The 
rain is also really nice because it waters your crops for you. Oh. I, I didn't even know the rain had a practical use in the hollow house. It does. I've maxed out my manager managerial tasks. Oh. Now I just oh, need to fish. Uh, Lur. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, Nimu is the character that's guarding the craft. The deer? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you played as Fauna yet? Have you seen the line? Give me a second. I accidentally just started a stage. <laughs> oh. Okay. Going to... Oh, Miss Fauna, welcome back. I've prepared the farm for you. Here for your work, just like you asked. I know you've already grown all sorts of different plants and made a beautiful farm. I've already prepared some special farming soils as well as seeds for you. As you probably know, it's Mother Nature, you have like one of those selecting eight farming spots and select a combination soil and seed. For seeding for you, plants will take some time to grow, but don't worry. If you decide to go elsewhere, I'll look over the plants for you while you're gone. They'll continue to grow. Don't forget to water the plants as it helps them grow. Take time to water the plants that will grow faster, thanks to my special magic you've given me. Plants on this farm will never die, so you can rest easy, Miss Fauna. I have three different kinds of soil for you. What payment? Oh, it's Miss Fauna. I'm your servant. You don't need to pay me at all. Well, must it? Well, but if you insist. Well, then the standard soil is no special properties. Okay, it's just explaining now. Yeah, but all of it. He references them as Miss Fauna. Yeah, yeah. Get spin, nerd. Is it time to do a wall technique? <laughs> Act, we've been spotted. Act. Oh no. Oh, oh no, anyway. This. What will they do to little old me? Something you disrupt them. Oh, is it there? Yep, running section. Fails immediately. Mm. Fails immediately. Wow, I just slid off the platform I landed on. Wow, I'm, I'm just really fucking choking on really shitty spots. Wow, I just realized Pekka and Marine are not playable. Wow, really? Will be added later? I don't know because they. I'm pretty sure the devs of this game went to Hollow Break. Oh. Okay, I keep laying on the side of the platforms and falling off. And it's leading to some bullshit damage. I posted a couple things in a dream meme. <laughs> Aim's head, show your stuff. I can trust the secret scroll to you. Secret scroll. God damn. Oh. Uh. Implosion energy. <laughs> oh, good god. She just dies. <laughs> The way she just falls, bro, it's kind of sick. Cannon down. It's done. Oh, shoot. Spill my drink. And I got all the sparks. I got all the sparks, but I missed the ribbon on the stage somewhere. I don't even remember seeing the ribbon guy. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
back. Yep, everything's back and cleaned. Nice. I was drinking out Look, of bottles of it. I probably posted up another image in art. When someone gets too thick. God! Wait, let me just open up. I have uh, Kiara Max almost maxed. I need to get all of her. What is it? Fandom stuff. Because you can't overthink if your heart stops. Oh my god, nope. that's terrible. No, you can't. That is true. I agree with that. I have palpitations in my heart every now and then. Or it's like, it's not a heart attack, but it's like you just feel like a discomfort on your chest. And it makes me go, oh. And it just happens completely random. Yeah, I've had that before as well. It's, it's been happening. It's fun thing in the world. Yeah. And I, I don't know if I had them before I got COVID, but I definitely noticed them more after I've gotten COVID. Mm -hmm. I don't know what triggers them. If it's just lack of sleep, if it's stress, if it's blood pressure related, I don't know. I'm trying to pin down what's causing them. I'm pretty sure mine's hereditary, so I kind of got fucked over. Yeah. I don't know if it's palpitations or what, but it's like you just like feel something in your chest. Like a sudden discomfort or something. It's like, it feels like I ran a mile or something suddenly. Yeah. I'm like just low on iron, so that doesn't help. Ah, oh, maybe that's it. Because it's like, it's like all, the, it's like all of a sudden my stamina just bottoms out for a second, then it comes right back. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why should I be concerned? Should I, should yeah, I, I go to doctor? Skip a beat and then I feel that. Yeah. And then my iron kicks up, so then I literally fall over because I basically pass out. I don't fall over or pass out though, fortunately. Iron deficiency. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have an iron deficiency. I do. Every now and then I almost pass out when I get up. So we're gonna get a new Peach Ensemble. We're gonna be Fighter Peach. Thanks for the help. What, our teacher's in trouble? We must hurry to the teacher. Meanwhile, I'm running around the stage and looking for secrets. Mm. Oh no, he came out with a freaking battle staff, but I hit him before he had a chance to get me. There's a gate just beyond here. We need more strength. Damn. Let's hurry. Older. You're not getting through here. Good luck getting through this gate. That master would know what to do. Perhaps you have what it takes. You must overcome the trial. Kung Fu Master Trial. Why does the one pole look like a bent duck? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> That was the Kung Fu Master Trial. Just dodging some things. Oh, okay, this looks more like a trial. Kiara's hips don't feel as substantial as they should. Damn. Her hips? Hits. Like oh. when she swings her sword, not her hips. It is pixel oh. art. I can't really see that. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute. Her ult's insane. Yeah. Not as good as Mumei's. Mumei's ult is just overpowered. It literally just clears yeah. the screen. Yup. Kung Fu Master Time. And I think they like changed a little bit of it because it used to be leave items. So they to it. Yeah, they changed it to make it even better, so it doesn't bleed items. It doesn't bleed anything other than the uh, mini characters. 
Yeah. Which is still insane. I love how when I fall off the stage, I jump back on this stage from the crowd. That's kind of funny. Also, it's crazy that um, a lot of the swinging attacks have dead zones right in front of you. Wow. So if they get close enough, your swing does nothing. That's stupid. Hit the rocks. That would have been a missable one. If I thought to break the rocks, I'm like, oh, there's a spark. Oh, this is just cool. Quick this way. You think yourself skilled, do you? Yes. He'll toy me for a bit. One-on-one -on -one fight against a powerful foe. Press B at the right time to kick. <laughs> You're better than I thought. We'll fight again if you reach the training hall. <laughs> you should not underestimate me. You don't know who you're messing with. Not could have I. I'm a 30-something playing a game designed for six-year-old girls. What <laughs> is my life? Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds so bad. That was the intention. Yeah. Get him! Get him! Mess him up. No one messes around with these guys. Oh, I see there's poles. Hey, look, another stage where Peach slides down a pole. Well, she kind of swings around it, but... I, I was trying to reach that. stream intensely. Woo! God damn! Anyways. Spin! I think you like that meme a bit too much. Okay. I overuse it. That's... Spin is the new Pingus. When I was, like, it was like back in 2011, I was over using Pingus and Peanut Butter Jelly Time. Now it's going to be Speen. Well, Peanut Butter Jelly Time is a classic so much so that they had a song for it. It's Peanut yeah. Butter peanut jelly, jelly, jelly Time. With, with fucking, um, Brian from, uh, Family Guy in a banana suit. Uh, I know the cheer up, Peter. It's Peanut Butter Jelly Time. <laughs> God, the Friday streams are always the most cursed streams. Yeah, but like ice cream and cake didn't hit as hard as peanut butter jelly time. It's like they tried to capture the essence of peanut butter jelly time, but they mm. didn't have enough peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Like, ew, a peanut butter jelly cake? What, you're telling me you wouldn't fuck up the damn Reese's cake? Come on now. Reese's ice cream and cake and cake peanut butter jelly. You're making me hungry. Good. Go to Dairy Queen and get a peanut butter jelly time. Reese's it's ice cream cake. It's 11:06 p.m. and I don't have my license. How am I gonna do that? DoorDash. I, I've actually, I've actually been to, to a Dairy Queen in Sacramento, and I had one of the, I think it was like an uh, Oreo delicious uh, uh, dessert. And it had like. A lot of like chocolate and stuff in it. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, they've announced that April first they are bringing back their summer flavors, including the uh, the cotton candy blizzard. I love 
the cotton candy blizzard. I always, my eyes are bigger than my fucking stomach. And like, dairy stuff does not agree with my gut. So if I eat too much of it, I just get like all bloated and shit. It sucks. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna I get a medium to one. Stuff. I'm gonna get a medium one. And I'm like, I forget how big the medium one is. One time I was crazy and just got the large one. The only problem is there's only one Dairy Queen in town, and it's always too fucking busy. Like, half the time I go down there, I'm like, never mind. I don't want to wait in the drive-thru. And the problem is, like, it's a really tiny parking lot in there, and it's in a really rough spot to get in and out of. Alright, so the regular guys I can just mash to knock out. The pole arm guys, you gotta wait for them to spin their twirl little pole and then kick them. Or their little fingers. I love how I'll play this game, but I dropped live alive. This game is literally That's just live. Good. Like, Live Alive is literally just fucking this game, but an RPG. So fun. I think it's like the same concept, it's just like you go to different time periods or some shit. I don't know if they all link together or not. Your technique is much like the Kung Fu Masters. Our foes through here, please save the hall. Will do, Master Shu. Oh ho! So you're approaching me. Yes, yes I am. Oh. You have to be really fast on that shit. Not bad. Let's see how you deal with this. Get a load of this. Jar gets four outfits. The fucking. Why doesn't Moo make it four outfits? Bullshit. Crouching tiger, pouncing lion, spinning kangaroo. What the fuck? <laughs> and he's out of here. I missed a spark. Fucking where? You just did. Yeah. At least in game, Peach doesn't look like ugly. I was worried when they changed the box. I'm like, oh god, they're gonna like make her look ugly in the game. Like, nah. So Dude. switching to the kung fu dress because it's got little clouds on it. Ugh. Oh yeah, the custom firmware for Switch Atmosphere has. A pre-release that supports the new latest firmware, which is good. But I'm not going to bother updating until there's a game that requires the firmware because right now I don't, I never install the pre-release versions of Atmosphere. I always wait for the final version. All right, to pan out the stream to hit the four hour mark, I'm gonna actually go down into the basement and do the basement stages, and then I'm gonna go do this boss fight. And there's five floors. There's literally one more floor, I'm sure. Because if you look at the stream, look at the spacing of the, the icons for the elevator. There's yeah, space there's five for, floors. there's five floors. There's space for five. That would still be like maybe an hour to an hour and a half stream. Because I'd have to go do the basement levels. Dark prison and a dangerous that, and trap. Do the rest of the Breath of the Wild stream. Yeah, or just do a short stream. Because I'm off on, off on this week, so it'd probably be like maybe the Wednesday stream where it starts at 9. Mm. Damn it, I was hoping this game would last a little longer so I could have a B game alongside Breath of the Wild, and then the B game would become the A game while I figure out the next long game to play. That's not fucking Xenoblade. Please! Like, uh, you want me I to do a Xenoblade you. playthrough, then it's gonna take the yes. whole goddamn year. It's gonna take the whole fucking year. 
No, I won't. It's like 50 hours. How long to beat Xenoblade Chronicles 1 HD? About 57 and a half hours. It's like 60 hours. Yeah. That's about how long you're going to take to beat Breath of the Wild. Maybe. If you're a gamer and strive to see all aspects of the game, you'll likely spend 141 hours to obtain 100%, though. Shh. We don't talk about that. And, like, you figure... <laughs> what's... Just give me, like, an average on how long to beat. Like, between the two. Because I'm probably not going to do everything. It'd probably be, like, main plus extras. And we're going to do Nintendo Switch version, because... Why does the main story take less time on the Switch version? Is it just load times? Yeah, load times. Especially, because load times on the original were... Oh, God, they were atrocious. But... Eh... If you're doing just, like, a casual playthrough, not just busting through the story, probably 70 to 80 hours, I'd say. There's four uh, things on how long to beat. There's main story, there's main plus extras, there's completionist, and there's all styles. I think I should run all styles to kind of get a rough idea. Probably. How long it may take. Because I just kind of want to get the average. So it's, it says 75 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Assuming each stream is about 5 hours in length, it would take 15 streams. I'm, if I'm only doing that on YouTube and I'm only I'm doing only two of those a, a week, it's going to take 7.5 weeks. It's going to take about two months, and that would be two months of just on YouTube nothing but Xenoblade without another game. Which I'm always concerned, like with me just doing Zelda, are people going to get tired of that? Is that going to start hurting my viewership because of it? That's bad. Not, not everyone's going to like that. That's where the B games come in. So I'm like. If I do a uh, six streams a week, with the Twitch streams being like the one-off streams, where I just play a whatever random game, and then I do this playthroughs on YouTube, so they auto archive. Um, I could do two for Xenoblade and then one for like a B game, like I don't know, like Mario Wonder or something. Four locks. Can you unlock them? All right, let's unlock them. Thank God I was able to stall off the hook. Back, I'm gonna get Where are those last two pieces at? Okay, they're not down here like I thought they would be. Wait. The jumping sound effect in this costume. Isn't that like the Dragon Ball Z jump effect? I still have to do three more locks, and I'm, like, halfway through my damn health. Ah, it's bullshit! I did not upload all the episodes of Cereza and the Lost Demon on the past life. On the archive. Damn it. So, I'll have to reinstall that game and play through it again. Welcome back. I think there's a game. There's a game on the DS called Uri She's a something Kawase or some shit. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. You play as a girl and she uses a fishing hook to like manipulate through the stage. I think there was a game for it on the Switch. 
Yeah, I forget what game in your past life, but I'm pretty sure you just like said where where you lived. That's probably why it's gone back. Yeah, I just I didn't give address. I just gave like city and state. Yeah, you just gave you yeah the city. Yeah. I don't live in a small town. Good luck finding me, and I don't even live in the city. So you would never find me. Okay, the name of the game I'm thinking of is Umihara Kawase. Because I played it on the DS. The the game on the DS actually had anti-piracy in it that no one figured out. Um, it was originally figured out. It's like, both... It, the DS game had, like, a classic mode and a modern mode. So there were, like, two different games in one. And the game would play normally until, like, five stages in. And then five stages in, in the tutorial where it's introducing the gimmick... Her fishing hook will not latch onto anything, and she falls off the stage, and you just load the stage up thinking, huh, that's weird. And then you get to a point where you have to latch onto a platform and, and swing around, but your fishing hook doesn't latch. I was like, what the fuck? And I realized, oh wait, this is probably anti-piracy or some shit that's going off. And sure enough, it was, because it was patched later. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> So there's a Umihara Kawase Fresh, and then there's one called Bazooka. I think Bazooka is not the game I'm looking for. Bazooka is a different game. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of doors. Which door is the right door? I feel like I've heard that the game's name, but I've never played it before. It's the girl that wears the damn. She has the fishing hook. She wears pants and she has like a black shirt. Shows off midriff. And it's like, I think the fish you catch, you can, like, put them in your backpack and you can make food or some shit and it gets buffs. Oh, that game. Okay, yeah. It was like fish people. It's like, I remember playing it and it stands out to me because it's like weird genre of Japanese. Yeah, the first fan arts are all just her with big tits, so, uh... Well, she has big tits. She wears a fucking tank top. It's gonna make her boobs look bigger. Are we at zero concurrence now? Because I'm we're saying tits. Nope. Titties, titties, tits, tits, tits. Why are you trying to destroy your current? <laughs> also, when, it'll never go down to zero because I'm watching the stream, so. Yeah, there was a, there was a Switch game. Because there was a game, I have it on 3DS. I have the DS game, I have the 3DS game. And uh, now there's one on Switch as well. You know, it's funny, if it wasn't for, like, the R4DS, this series would not even be fucking known about. I would have never found it if that wasn't the case. People say piracy's bad. It exposed me to games I would have never played. There's a puzzle platformer game on the DS called... Umo Todoka Doke or some shit? You play as, like, a mushroom person. And you can split up into, like, little mushroom people. And you use that to solve puzzles. I know I pronounced the name of it wrong. Oh, I see what's going on here. Did I find the spark in this area, though? I didn't. DS game puzzle platformer where you play as a mushroom man. Someone else on Reddit fucking had the same thought I did. It's called Boing Doko Modake. It's what it's called. Mm. Classic Game Room did an episode on it. Holy shit. I think it, I thought it was Oko Modake because the D looks like an O because of how it's fucking stylized. Mm. Now I know it. I need, I need to see if I have that on my 
my game card, and if I don't, I need to go find the game card again from the, the internet game card store. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. God, imagine if DSP fucking played this game. He'd probably get God. he would get stuck on the Amelian Wasa levels. And then you Google them. He'd probably never play it. Fucking played it. He'd be like, "This is the game is for little girls, it's babies. I'm not playing it." And then he'd fail if he actually tried. That would be so fucking funny. <laughs> These sections just remind me of, like, the brain space sections out of, uh, Bomb Rush Super Funk. I never finished that game. I kind of suck at the tricks. What is this bullshit? Oh, oh, crap! I failed to see that it was a donut lift. Great job. In a game, please stop fucking lagging. It's gonna bother me that I missed that one star. Where was it? All that's left is the central lock. Gave me a heart because it's boss time. <laughs> Whoa! So there was a trap after all. Yep. <laughs> the whole place is falling apart. Let's head this way. Let's 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 not wait around. What now? Oh, we got switched. Wait, and now. Two, one. Oh cool, I got the heart I missed. That was almost too easy. Dex is just up ahead. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, and falls off the stage. <laughs> you can actually angle your your hook with the stick too. Okay, I was on I hooked onto it. Why did I unlatch from it? Don't tell me my pass is procking again. Where I'm making the game glitch out. Oh, now we're going to do the paraglider part. Oh, we just leave. Okay. I almost failed that one. Those little uh, hangrails are messing me up at the end. Jesus. To be continued. Loading, 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 loading. I think there's one more door in the basement I gotta do. And then we'll do the boss and that'll be streamed for the night. So I'll probably have one more stream worth of this game. So this is a three streamer. So it's about 15 minutes in length, I guess. This one's probably going to kick my ass. Showtime. The Dark Museum and the Purple Mystery. Because this is going to be the... You gotta... Gotta deduce stuff. Oh boy! Here we go. Here we go! Here we go! Here we, here I go! Here we go! Guys, guys, look! Look, it's my greatest accomplishment! It's Warrior Land 4 for the Game Boy Advance! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Huh, the Detective Sparkler? Hee <laughs> hee, nope, sure haven't seen him. Why would they be here? Look around, just your normal, everyday, peaceful museum. Sure it is. I've got great news. Great news. Did you hear Detective Sparkle has joined up with? Did you hear the Detective Sparkler just joined up with Madame Grape? Isn't that great? So really, you can just take it easy now. No need for you to do anything at all. Seems a little sus. Yep. That just a strike of intuition on both of these guys. Onya! <laughs> That's literally what oh, the guy no. just went. Onya! That's literally what he said. Onya! What gave me away? Your behavior was suspicious. I sure tried. No one of import is around. Mm -hmm. Cracked mural. Hmm. Nose of truth. Ah. The sky's mask rendered in stone. Ah. Sparkle, what's that? Never heard of it. And there's certainly not one of them trapped here in a go home or something.
Wait a minute. There goes the door. And here comes a clue. I already see two display cases with little dots in them. Mm -hmm. Just in case anything happens to me, I'm leaving this note behind as a guide. The central door will open once exhibits with a shared element are examined in proper order. You must already you must already have shown impressive skill to get this far. I'm positive you can solve this. Good luck, Detective Sparkla. Huh? Mm. Mm. Shared oh. elements. There's a shared element beneath some of the exhibits, huh? Well, it's not those little rowel things, they're just decorations that are completely meaningless. Okay. So it's the carpets. Wooden bird carving. Three pots of water urn. Nothing of interest here. No, there's something of interest here. Uh -huh. Now move along. Mm -hmm. And this guy is also sus. The, shelled, the shared elements are the little dots. Whew. Just cleaned up in here, so don't touch any of the statues. Too bad I'm touching the statues. I gotta light all their little noses up. What did you do? I worked really hard to hide that. Oh, you did, did you? Now, why would you hide that? That's a little sus. Guy is. We have to make all the statues face left. So the nose is purple. Sound that came from upstairs. Yep, and upstairs we will go. <laughs> you fixed it. You fixed the floor. I did. All right, we have to examine the things that are similar in the correct order. It's based on the little dots. Yeah, I go from one to four. So we'll start with this one. Mm -hmm. Do I have to do the strike of intuition on it? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And the diamond, the pink crystal. Uh -huh. 
Then the golden phoenix face statue. And then finally, we go back to the center room. Ah. And examine the Fipotia water urn. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more to this. That was only the first spark. Yeah. Detective, it is I. Huh? The junior detective, what are you doing here? Huh? Clearly, I'm seeking the detective Sparkler, just as you are. Huh? And I have deduced that they are trapped in this very room. Mm. Alas, I've run into an issue. These appear to be four detective Sparklers. Huh? I'm actually asking you to find the real one. We shall meet again. What? Junior isn't gonna stick around to help? No. That's not mm. Junior. Let's talk to him and figure out which one's the real one. It's probably the one that's calm. On it. I'm the real detective sparkler. Hurry up and use tuition strike. Nah. It's not you. <sighs> The real Detective Sparklet, that is. I'm glad you finally made it here. I've been through a lot since Madame Grape captured me. It's time we escaped. Mm -hmm. I'm the real Detective Sparklet. <laughs> Get me out of here, we can solve this case faster, and you can say, Deception. <laughs> and once we're done, what do you think about becoming my very first assistant? No, not him. What about you? Mm -hmm. I need not say anything. Mm -hmm. You use skillful deduction to get this far, and I'm sure your intuition will lead you to the truth. Mm. It's you. It's the one that's calm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, you've the quite the astute mm. detective. There wasn't a doubt in my mind you'd puzzle out the solution to that problem. <laughs> Now then, let's make our escape. What about the left door, though? There is a left door. A dead end. We'll have to find another way out. Let's look around and see if there are any useful clues to be found. Ooh, escape room. It's a painting of a castle. I wonder who painted it. The model of the museum, and you look at all the small deals, they work hard on this. There are a lot of books stacked up here, and we look inside, aha, just as a thought. The content goes right over my head. This is just a normal everyday shop sign. It's a globe, think you can find the Sparkle Theater? That's a really, really big magnifying glass, way too big to pick up. That thing seems to be a mess. Perhaps we should backtrack and look for another route. Maybe. What? We should have returned to the room we came from, but how strange. Hmm. It appears to be pulled into some sort of mysterious space. There must be clues around here, though. The star of taking a photo of this scene, it may come in handy as reference. Sign the books, the museum, the picture, the cog, the desk. It's the magnifying lens, it's the thing that's the odd one out. Hmm. Two rooms that appear quite similar and a single door that connects them. We seem to be trapped between the rooms. 
For so it would seem, there must be some clues how we escape. I'll hang the photo I just took up on the wall. Let's see if it's some use. I mean, the really big magnifying lens kind of stands out. It appears you solved the mystery. Well done. Let's head to the exit. Onward. Let's make our escape. But first, chest. And also, sub area. My mom was dumb and turned on the air, and now it's getting cold. Should have just let the air off. Whoa. Detective. Yeah. Detective, this way, hurry. Yeah. Well, but isn't Junior. And you even got here before us. Mm. Yes. Hmm. The exit is just this way, we must hurry. Mm. Actually, let's take a moment before we do. I'll ask you a few simple questions first. Mm. What? I mean, sure. Mm. As you know, the sofa in our office doesn't have a single cushion on it. Mm. If you're going to purchase a cushion for it, what color would you pick? Mm. What a weird question to ask at a time like mm. this. But, um, ah. purple would be nice. Mm. Excellent. Next, if you're meeting someone at 9 o'clock, when would you arrive? Mm. Seriously, what such odd questions, but this one is obvious. Mm. If you're meeting someone at 9 o'clock, then you get there at 9 o'clock. No. You get there earlier. I see, I see. Alright, one final question. Mm. What do you think about this grape character? Ah, Madam Grape. Er, I mean, sauce. Mm. Alright, enough of these silly questions. We need to hurry to the exit now. <laughs> Very well, we have all the answers we need. Sus. You, sir, are very sussy. You are a sussy wussy. That wasn't the exit. That was a. That was a jape. There's the actual exit. I knew it. Both the exit and the fake junior detective were deceptions. The true exit stands before us now. Come on, let's make our escape. Yes. Less. Because I know the exit has, like, blue swirlies in it. Duh. Mm -hmm. Ace closed. Thank you so much. <laughs> Deductive reasoning at its finest. Yay! How many doors are left? Four. Oh, and there's another one we haven't done. The voice acting is still messing me up. It is messing me up a bit, too. The Dark Ninja and the Legion of Guards. Yes! We get to do Ninja Gaiden now! Yay! Let's go! Ninja Gaiden! I never called it Ninja Gaiden. I always called it Ninja Gaiden. Some people did call it Ninja yeah, Gaiden. Yeah, it's called Ninja Gaiden. Ha. 
What's that sound? Is the sparkle here in danger? And now you will meet your doom! What an unfortunate turn of events. We have to sneaky. I get spotted, he will probably die. I like this. This is actually isn't like Ninja Gaiden, this is more like Tenku. Tenku? Tenku Z, I have that on Xbox. And there's also a Tenku game on the DS as well. It's all like all about stealth. Mm. I think I remember Tenku DS. It was called Tenku Dark Secret. And like every time we killed a guy, like a little image appeared on the bottom of the screen with them going. Bleh! I was like, you really didn't need to do that. That just distracts. Mm. You're dead. You're dead. I am in your debt. Your technique is very impressive. Mm -hmm. Ah, we better hurry out of here now. Let's head for the tower. We may find our exit there. Come. Can everyone stop saying come, please, in the game? Just stop it. It's bad enough Tears of the Kingdom was doing that. It was a fake! <laughs> Through here! You told me through here! You little dirtbag. Now I'm going to not trust you. Careful now. I missed two sparklers already. What the hell? I said something. It's a trap! Alright, help the ripping guy. We're almost there. Oh no! Well, in that case... <laughs> now! Well done. Here we are. Now, to scale the tower. An auto runner, just a bit further. What? Who is that? <laughs> Your escape ends here. The two of you will crumble to dust. <laughs> A test of resolve. Do not waver. Let's go. Oh yes, the ninja got in music. Oh no. You can only think of the Princess Peach song for the Mario movie. Oh, the one that Jack Black did? You mean Peaches? Peaches, 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 Peaches? Peaches, 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 It didn't get too bad. So stubborn! This ends now! We will prevail if we work together. You will pay for what you have done. Yes! Man, why are the action ones so damn short? I like them so much. I wish those were longer. But I see cinema. 
I see Simmons here. It says, I've arrived late. I saw this earlier but was doing something else. Also, I can only think of the Princess Peach song from the Mario movie now. <laughs> They're making a Mario movie too, you know. It's going to be coming out in 2026. Yep. Isn't the Sonic 3 movie coming out this year? Should be. And I think it's a Legend of Zelda movie coming out next year. And I'm a little bit concerned about that yeah, one. because live it's, action. It's live action. The live action can be good if it's done right. But yeah, Link better not say a single cool. fucking word. Link's gonna. No. Link is not supposed to talk. I know he's not, but he's going to. He's taken a vow of silence to dedicate his entire life to the sword. He does not talk. That was only in uh, Breath of the Wild. That his whole character, he never talked. Never once yeah. has he talked. Uh, faces of Evil. Faces of Evil does not count. That's the only game where he has talked. Wand of Gamelot. Oh yeah, in the Wand of Gamelot, he talks in the, the cutscenes. Mm -hmm. But like, if you can crouch, you can make me do the duck walk. Hey, is your dick dirty? I think you have a dirty dick. <laughs> Jesus. It's it's a it's like dirty disc. I think your disc is dirty, but it's it's so bit crunch. It sounds like they're saying dick. Yeah. Oh. I think you have a dirty dick. <laughs> Get your dick checked. Clean your dick. <laughs> Please do. Smegma is nasty. Yeah. Ew. Who doesn't? Normal basement etiquette. dwellers, basement dwellers that have played that just like no life of video game to the point where they don't take care of personal hygiene. That's what the funky smell comes from. Your dick is dirty. Oh. And like magic, concurrent viewers goes from three to one. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, that's where the first spark was? Wow. I wonder if there's a 10Q game. Oh, the Yagos. The Yagos are coming to beat my ass. Oh no, not the Yagos. Oh, did they you make it him. to... Did you make it to 30 minutes? Yeah, with only my melee weapon. With only my main weapon. Oh no. It's time to run as long as I can. See how good I am at dodging. Oh fuck, I ran into a tree. <laughs> Kind of wish I'm you could mash this. through this dialogue, but you cannot. Oh, you can't spam A? No, it's it just sits there for a minute. The text advances on its own. I've survived for 40 seconds with the Yagos chasing me. How long can I survive? I cannot backtrack. Can I? No, I cannot. Survive for a whole minute. And you still get like hollow points from like potentially defeating them, right? Yep. But they're so fast, you have to just run away from them. You don't really have a chance to kill them. Yeah. Well, unless you have the gold stall like I do. You can't really. That's where the second spark I missed was. I have 434 health, so I think I'm fine. No. But I am also not gotten hit by them yet, and it's been almost two minutes. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're starting to appear three at a time. Still running from them. I'm surviving. They're getting faster. This whole section of this level just makes me think of classic Zelda games. Because you're going like one room at a time, the doors automatically open and close. Mm. That's so a callback to classic Zelda games. Hey, hey, hey. 
I just wanted to do this one again to get the sparks. Even though I said I'll do that on some other time. I'm like, nah, this one was so much fun. Let me do it one more time. I think this is my favorite track in the whole game. It's the Ninja Peach theme. How long can I survive? <laughs> Wait, are you still surviving or are you dead now? Oh, I'm still surviving. Jeez. I'm good at dodging. Uh, who, who are you playing again? Yara. I don't even have good movement speed. Jesus, how? I'm good at dodging. So just a shit ton of help. And that heals so fast. So even if they tap me once, I still survive. I'm at four minutes surviving just the void. Oh, they're starting to spawn on me. It's done. It is done. And now we've gotten all the sparks in this level. Let's go! There's only five floors to this place and I have 106 sparks. I don't think you need to collect all the sparks to beat the game. But maybe we get like a dress or something, like a sparkler dress. That has like the spark patterns on it. You're still surviving, dude? Yep. Four minutes so far and I'm about to hit five. Now I just realized this, in this game Peach is wearing heels and she's able to run in those heels. You know what they say oh. about a woman that can run in heels? She's just built different. No, Tight. what kind of... What kind of women... No! My burger file is opened! I still have revives. What happened? Uh, give me a second. I had to pause the game. What is that? My AMD auto update opened. Frickin' got debated by AMD, man. Yeah. Thankfully, I have revives, so I still have two revives left. What kind of women are good at running in heels? I don't know, man. Ugh, never mind. Everyone's too... too young. Just say it. Hookers? Oh. Uh... They wear heels? They're good at running in heels? I see. Princess Peach wears heels, and she's good at running in them? I too know about prostitution. Alright. <laughs> I think that's our, our quota for jokes for the day. We got yep. this boss door coming up. How many sparkle gems do we need? 25. Well, I have 100 of them. I have four times the sparkle gems I need. <laughs> This is so much more engaging to my brain than the normal game because they have to actually think about where I'm going. Yeah. Open the doors. I keep on getting movement speed upgrades when I level up. I don't think there's a way to refight the bosses. I hope there is because the bosses are kind of fun. It's really the highlight of the game. That's not grape. There's no way this is grape. Grape already? No, no way. Peach, 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 and Stella. Peach, 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 How peach, 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 peach. dare you two make a mess of my glorious plays? Clearly, I underestimated you. I suppose at this point I could even call you rivals, which is mildly amusing to me. Despite your efforts, my preparations to build the ultimate stage for my ultimate tragedy are well underway. <laughs> Unfortunately, you won't be here to see it. Spot, it's playtime! 
be a dear and deal with these pesky rodents, will you? I'm about to turn her tragedy into a comedy. Comedy, if you will. Oh, see, he's called Spot because... He's called Spot Lion because he's a spotlight. Get it? It's funny. Yep. Laugh. <laughs> Laugh at our funny jokes in our funny girl game. I don't have the audio clip of the Titus laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Oh, I almost died there. I can't die, come on. I'm too good for this. Oh, I had to revive. I died. <laughs> oh. I'm on my last life. Oh, he just bounces balls at back at him. I love balls. I know you do. <laughs> what a thing to say to a 15 year old. I mean, like you've made it apparent. Jesus. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't even counter it. Someone canceled balls. 101. Chat. Oh, oh. We're talking about sports balls. Uh huh. Yeah. Tennis balls. Sports balls. Well, I was thinking more soccer balls. Oh, I finally died. It took 9 minutes and 14 seconds of the Yago horde. Speaking of orbs, how many coins did you get? Uh, 2,116,000. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, 21,602,077. Jesus, that's how many you got from that run? Yup. Damn. Did you have, like, Halu or something that gave you, like, more enemy spawn? No, I, I just this used normal enemy spawn. so a Mario 2 I get, um, the 500 health achievement, but sadly I couldn't get it. Um. Oh, shoot, he was firing his laser. Laser. I'm firing the laser. Am I supposed to counter the laser? Or is he gonna? No, he's gonna shoot a ball. I was standing right there thinking he's gonna shoot the ball, but no, nah, that's not what happened. He fired a laser instead. It's probably laser again. Oh, there's two now. Oh, that's right, I can do that move in omnidirectional. Okay, you can't fake me out with the real one because the real one's smoking already. If you're gonna try to fake me out with fake ones, make them all smoke. Last wave of the boss fight, I just discovered you can grab the balls again and throw them again. They act like Yoshi eggs. They act like Yoshi eggs. Like they'll bounce twice and then they dissipate.
Kamera. Alright, the fourth floor is done. I think Yay. Cinnamon left when we started talking about balls. Unfortunate. Yay, so much of the theater is back to its previous shiny splendor, and it's all thanks to you, Peach. Your sparkle's the best. We should make a play about you. Please do. Before we can do that, we've got something. To, we've got to do something about Grape. The top floor is next. Maybe she's there. Hmm. Yep, the last floor. <sighs> but that's gonna have to wait till next stream because I'm tired. <gasps> oh my god. Oh well, I guess we'll have to wait till next stream to find out what's on the top floor and what the what's last ensemble there? is. Oh my god, guys, what could it be? Was the last ensemble even revealed on the website? I don't think it was. I think all the ones that are here are all the ones that have been shown off. It's a total mystery! The sword fighter, ninja, cowgirl, detective, figure skater, dashing thief, pastry, mighty, mermaid, and kung fu. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think the last one was shown. I kind of figured that was the case. How and I it would be a completely new one. I figure when they revealed all the ensembles, I'm like, they're not going to reveal every single one of them. There's going to be, like, a final one that's going to be for the, like, the last thing. Which means they'll have to do two... We're going to be introduced to a new mechanic on that last floor. Mm -hmm. And then we have to do probably two stages of it. And then we got to go down to the basement. Yeah, so the website shows figure skater, dashing thief... Mermaid, Cowgirl, Sword Fighter, Pastry, and Kung Fu Peach. Detective and Ninja. Call it cowgirl's crazy. I mean, it wouldn't be a cowboy, now would it? Don't want to make any sense. Yeah. A cowgirl's uh related to something. You're thinking of of cowgirl position, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's that's where she straddles a, a horse and rides the horse to go lasso um, baddies and rope them up. Bro, she should lasso herself. Then I I need to shut up. I need to like just <laughs> please please keep myself. going. Please keep going. I need to detox detox myself from the internet. No, you don't. You need more internet. You're not corrupted <laughs> enough. Am I the Gen Z Zoomer of this call? That's my job. Oh god. A zoomer is to Gen say, Z. Start saying yacht. That's that's generation alpha, isn't it? Yeah, it that's, is. That's yeah. That's yeah. It's yeah. Like yeah. You unironically say that at my school. The freshman yeah, unironically damn. say that. Yeah, damn. Yeah, damn. What gets me is that's not even like Gen Alpha speak, that's Ebonics. Mm -hmm. That's black culture. Yeah. It's just like everyone's just like co-opting black culture. It's like black people come up with like a cool slang term and then all the white kids say it and it becomes uncool so they have to come up with like some new slang term. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Maybe it'll get to the point where like all the white people will be speaking Ebonics and then like all the black people will be speaking perfect Queen's English. Hey. Uh, that would be fucking funny. <laughs> you go to the time machine in the future like all the white people are speaking like they're from like the inner cities and like all the black people are like hello good sir how are you this evening and you're just like what the fuck fuck i dare say it's your quick. expletives are rather offensive <laughs> your jokes got me thinking and then the white people will be like yeah, damn that's a nice gap you got <laughs> My hands are so sweaty, good god. White people music in the distant future is gonna just be like... <laughs> oh. Did you ever see that animation? No. It was like, kids of the future, and it's like... A girl is wearing barely anything. It's just like, freaking band-aids over, like, nips and vag. And the dad's mm -hmm. like, aren't you gonna wear anything less revealing? 
And she's like, oh my god, dad, this is a designer outfit! And it just shows an expensive price tag on it. I'm like, what the fuck? And then she it goes to listen business. to the music. Yeah, and she goes to listen to music in the car, and the music is just... Oh, Jesus. Look, what the <laughs> fuck? Send that in general, or send that in video share, I beg of you. I need to find it. I need to find it again. It's a really, really old video, so it may be gone. I really do yeah, wonder if you what wanna the join the Discord, it's in the pinned comment. It is in the pinned comment. Join the Discord. The cinema. Yeah, fun. We do. And you can join up on our almost every day uh, VCs. Yeah, almost our, every day. Our meetings every day. Yep. Our our gremlin meetings. <laughs> yeah, we should probably do a a like waiting chat where you get pulled into stream so we don't just get someone spamming uh certain unsavory words. Yeah. So we should probably make it like a make a live uh what is it a live BC and then make that locked to moderator and above. And then yeah. make it so there's a poll thing, so a moderator can just pull them in if they feel they're trustworthy. Right. Okay, so you're mean, like, okay, so I have a voice chat. I should just make another voice chat channel. This is a stream chat. Because mm -hmm. there's already a moderator chat only. That only mods yeah. can be in. Yeah, but that, I feel like that's more for, like, mod meetings. That is. That's exactly what it's for. I was thinking mm -hmm. of doing that once the we get more people, but maybe I'll do it right now. Right as soon as I'm done with stream. Okay. We'll just we'll just add like a stream chat and make it so that I don't know how you'd set that permissions up. Like mod only moderators can join and other people can be added into it. I I'm totally not zoomed in to Swordfighter Peach's ass on stream. Oh good no. god. <laughs> um let me Google it. Hello. I'm just saying, uh Swordfighter Peach in them tights. They did not I nerf know, her. Right? They did not nerf her ass. But the problem is, like Mermaid Peach, it gets rid of her best ass set. It, it's just gone. That is yeah. unfortunate. Oh, but wait, wait. There's a new asset though. Naval. The whole, the whole design's really cute. You got a pearl necklace. She always has a brooch. Every single one of her outfits is has that brooch on it somewhere the ninja has it on the belt the cowgirl has it on her ascot sword mm -hmm. fighter has it on her little uh, it's not a scarf thing it's not an ascot whatever the hell it is chest thing uh it's one of the buttons on pastry peach's outfit dashing thief peach uh, thief peach it's just right on her coat Figure Skater Peach. Welcome back. Figure Skater Peach is Hi, right on her chest. I'm trying to figure out the settings in my own Discord server right now. Ah. Uh, then I'll be able to tell you. Where's the Super Fighter one? Oh, where's the brooch on Super Fighter? The superhero Peach. It's gone. It's not there. They broke the continuity. Re! The continuity is broken. Kung Fu Peach has it in her hair. We're all right. We gotta we gotta investigate. Where is her brooch? On okay, the superhero is it in the uh, glove? I figured it out. Uh, whenever you eh, want to set it up, I'll help you. All right. I can't find the brooch on Mighty Peach. It's not there. Oh. I thought maybe there's it was the, a brooch. There's supposed to be a brooch in all of her outfits. It's not the belt oh. either. It's like Princess Peach has it on her chest. Swordfighter has it on the little ascot. Ninja has it in her hair. Or no, it's on her belt. It's on the belt. Cowgirl has it on the ascot. Pastry is one of the buttons. Dashing Thief. It's a badge. Figure Skater is a brooch. Detective Peach, it's like a little necklace. Mermaid Peach is a pearl necklace. Kung Fu Peach, it's in her hair. But Mighty Peach does not have it. Unless I'm fucking blind and I have not seen it. 
I thought maybe it was in her glove. You really tired, Azu? Yeah, I should probably head off in a little bit. Where is her damn brooch at? It's not on the boots, it's not on the pants or skirt, it's not on the chest plate, it's not on the, like, artificial ears, it's not, it's not on her inklets? hair. No. Ah. It's just not there. They broke continuity with one of the outfits. You idiots, you had one job! Continuity. Like, they could just put it on the belt, the yellow bit on the belt, make that the brooch, and it'll be fixed. What have you guys done? You had one job. One job, and you messed it up. How many cutscenes are left? There are one, two, three, four, five more cutscenes left. That's interesting because there That's should only much. there should be one for the ensemble that we're missing. Then there's four left. One of them's gonna be like the final ensemble, maybe like the final boss that leads up to it, the final boss itself, and then like the ending and maybe the credits. Maybe that's the five that are still missing. This is the other reason I just remember. This is what you get for getting all the sparks in a stage. You have albums that you can find, and they're like special little screenshots. Mm. You get them when you've gotten all of the sparks in a stage. I don't think you have to get them all at once. Because I got the, the ninja one last, right? It's ninja, yeah, ninja three. We didn't get them all at, on the first time. But this is, like, the album unfortunately spoiled how many stages there are per ensemble, because it's always set to three. Mm -hmm. So you have the three sword fighter, the three ninja, the three cowgirl, the three baker. I didn't get any of the baker ones. The baker one's going to be the, the fucking pain in the ass when they get all the sparks on, because it's the cooking mini games. It's real easy to mess those up. I didn't get any of the dashing thief ones or the figure skater ones. There's one more figure skater level we need to do. There's two more figure skater levels to do. There are two more superhero ones to do. Two more mermaids to do, and two more um, fighter peach to do. That's the next floor, then. Because there's always four stages per floor. So the, ne the next floor is going to be... Figure Skater, Superhero, Mermaid, and Fighter. And then there'll be a final ensemble that'll probably be for the final boss. But that doesn't make any sense. Wait a minute, because how many doors are still in the basement? Unless you just clear it, maybe what'll happen is you clear the one level that he gives you, and then it'll unlock the door down here. Because we've cleared almost all of them. There's one door, two doors, three doors. There's four doors that are still locked. That's superhero, mermaid, and fighter. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm derping now.
Maybe there's a sixth floor. Wait a minute, because there's two levels per, per thing. We didn't do two mermaid levels yet. And we didn't do two superhero ones either. The brain's functioning for once. There's only four doors on each floor. So... There's gotta be a sixth floor. And there's the final ensemble as well that's missing. The final ensemble will also be on the dress as well. So there's the regular, the sword, sword fighter, ninja, cowgirl, detective, figure skater, dashing thief, pastry, mighty, mermaid, and kung fu. Final. Pastry has little strawberries on her thing. I'm gonna go poke up on the fifth floor and see what's there. But I'm not going through any of them because I'm ending stream. Because we want to save fifth floor and beyond for the next stream. I just want to know what's up here. Because it's three stages for each one. Because it should be two of each. It says there's fighter. There's mighty. There's figure. There's figure skater. Oh, this is. We're missing some stages then. There's one figure skater. There's one mermaid. There's one fighter, and there's one mighty. Oh wait, that's right. I'm I'm an idiot. Um, that does make sense. The third stage is in the basement. <laughs> so the third stage is always in the basement. So figure skater, fighter, mermaid, and mighty. And then the last ensemble. So I'll just stand right here, and that's gonna be the end of the stream tonight, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Next time we stream this next week, we're going to, I guess, wrap it up and find out what the final ensemble is. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next week. Rest well, everyone. And sweet dreams.